back. Recoil ain't in a knife stroke is a drawback. So knuckle up or just bitch out and go fall back. Me, we could all scrap. Load to a fall clap. Swing to a draw crack. Shells on the floor mat. Old school Keenan and Kale. I'm with all of that. Oh! What's really scary about a killer is if he's intelligent. No country for old men. That's why I make them look irrelevant. If I body you, I'll melt the gun down, destroy the evidence. Then mold the metal to a chain and where your body is attached. Oh. And if I'm robbing you, you won't see a face or have a glance. Yo, we don't. I sleep. Yo, niggas I'm gonna keep doing my thing. But well, like the gun, I should keep it with the phone and keep it ringing. Ah! I get to hack it like a computer. Oh! 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 Yo, 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 listen, what's goody? What's good? Good morning, everybody. Salute to everybody, you know what I'm saying? Mostly, I hope y'all got your kids to school, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can start your days, you know what I'm saying? So, but listen, man, I know y'all know why we're here. <clears throat> we are here for the recent crashing out of the debt, man. Listen, you know, I told you guys, y'all could be in the comment section. He could, he could have a million profiles, bro, pop up. Um, I even had, like I showed y'all, I had profiles threatening me randomly. Like they was gonna, not saying they was going to do something. They said they was going to send, send info out on me. Like, bro, uh, this is just looking bad, right? Because everything, all right, like, so like, let's say going with what, you know, how his actions are, his attacks on me, his attacks on me was first off my government, which is on my Facebook. I placed my government on my Facebook, y'all. So anybody can see this, right? Anybody can see these. It's not something you gotta hide from like that. My info's there. I never was scared of the battle rap. Remember, I got if I'm battling people, I put my government there, right? Clifford doesn't. I put my government there for everybody to see it. It's not because Facebook is some shit where they was like, you know, um, so you gotta verify your account after a certain amount of years or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm up to like 5,000 um, friends. So that's why they were, I guess they, they did that. So, you know, they're like, yo, you got to put your government. Nothing wrong with me putting my government up there. I don't care. There's nothing, nothing nobody could find that I'm ashamed of. I don't know why a lot of battle rappers do it. You know what I'm saying? They were saying they couldn't find Good's name. That's what Calico was saying. Bro, my name has been out there for years. Niggas have said my battle since 2010, my first battle. They said my name. I'm not worried about my my government my situation so the threat so to get a like a weird ass threat from a depth in another a whole nother con like it was weird right you know what i'm saying it was just a weird thing to get a, a um something like that on you right like somebody's like acting like they discovered something that you put out there right imagine you put this out there my name is my name is sam smith right or whatever sam sam uh, Jenkins, right? Whatever the fuck this nigga name is, right? You put your name out there. Why would you be scared? That doesn't sound properly. Now, Adep, what did they do? Adep do? He hid his name. He tried to hide his family. You know what I'm saying? He tried to hide everybody, right? Because he was ashamed of this, of being who he is. Like, really, he's ashamed of being who he is. And I can prove it. I'll come up with so much proof. Let me show y'all because he talks about, oh, yeah, I get money, guys, right? So, if you get money, right? Let's say, let's say you so-called get money, right? Um, oh, we're gonna look this up too in a second. Hey, 
and this is this one's going to be interesting because if he's not number one, if he's if he's not broke, all right, he's not broke, so called. Why do okay? Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna open up a lot here, bro. This was this was just a few years ago, bro. All right, so this, this is let's go to Angel Dupina. All right, let's let's look at this. I'm gonna share this with y'all so y'all can see this. This is this is the guy, man, and it's crazy, man. Like I know that every little y'all who follow him, a lot of those are fake accounts that he comes up with, right? And I understand that's not y'all. I gotta see this, and I'm and it's not a bad look at this. Fifteen dollars an hour. You was making four years ago. You was making fifteen dollars an hour, bro. And I'm I swear to you on everything. Around that time, I was making double, but it was near double. It was near double that in, in 2019. Listen, this is bad. You talk about you, 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 you got money, you're not uh uh you know what I'm saying? Like all these things you say, bro, is invalid. It's all invalid. Everything you said about your life is invalid. You you said that um you know what I'm saying that was your wife. That's not your wife, that wasn't your wife. You even came up with some, oh, you know, when y'all live with a girl, that's your wife. Oh, that's not your wife. <laughs> that's not your wife. You can't say that's your wife. And she's not. And she was getting boned by another dude and you was pissed off about it. You was crashing out over it. This is real shit. I'm not, not capping on nothing. This is the price he was, this is the money he was making. And that's around time he was with homegirl. You was making $15 with her? Some other nigga come pipe it. You think you got a chance, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Now you mad at the other dude. You was trying to fight the other dude. You was so mad and infuriated. You know what I'm saying? You was so mad. You was fight trying to stalk this other dude. They uh uh no mercy to put the clip out on you. But she crying, saying she's scared. You tried to really defend that. Your people in your comments is defending you and a girl scream. I'm scared. Why is he coming to my house? The thumbnail was a picture of you outside of the house. What you didn't get was it was three something in the morning. She asked you to leave. You didn't even immediately leave. It reminds me of that arrest that they wouldn't, you wouldn't get out that person's house. Am I wrong? For say, like, like, think away, right? All right, so we're going we're gonna to show that. We're going to remind y'all with that one too. Let's remind y'all with that one too. Because he literally got arrested. For being outside, oh my god, this goddamn internet. All right, so he literally got arrested. Hold up, let's see this angel, right? Bam, don't bring this up for y'all. Doing like this when he got arrested, he they told him to leave. If they're telling you to leave somebody's house, go, nigga. go home. Why are you I like that's what I'm not getting. First off, um, that whole what you going through. Some high schoolish stuff. If for sure he don't want to fuck with you, why you don't got the pride to move the fuck on? You know she's with another nigga. You mad at the other nigga. All oh, the other niggas at your house. Of course he is smashing. He is getting. He's they're they're connecting. They're probably conversating, watching movies. You said the dude was in the house. Why she telling you to leave? Why you think she telling you to leave? You said all the texts because she texting you, yo, there's a nigga here. I'm doing me. Boom, on, motherfucker. He showed y'all specific tweets that didn't rely to that. When she was saying, um, I'll make a new account and all of that, because you were stalking those accounts she had. You were stalking the account she had. That's why she was saying in them texts that you try to show real quick from an angle. Look what she said, y'all. When she's saying, I'll change my account. This, that, and the thing. When she says that, that she's saying harass you because you are harassing her. You act like it's not a two-way street. Like, you're not doing that. You're outside her house at three in the morning with her saying, why the fuck are you here? Why are you at that girl's house at three in the morning? Why? I, it's, it's crazy. This level of stalking isn't like the cold culture should be on this nigga. I understand there's a lot going on, got this Remy shit going on, but the niggas who are invested and know this story, why aren't you saying something? 
You know what I'm saying? Y'all not doing nothing. Them fans, these are the sad comment when you see these people in comment. See, here's go. I got a I got a person in there who I was disappointed in seeing shit, defend shit like that. P black. I am P black, nigga. You was trying to defend a dev. I was disappointed. I know P black being in the comments for years. Why the fuck was you defending that nigga? To see some of the to see like all right, like I, I know certain people. Like Polo, Mr. Suburbs, he told me I don't fuck with that A Dev. I like that. He don't fuck with that nigga. Certain niggas who are like y'all don't fuck with what that nigga be doing. The niggas who fuck with DME, I understand it. DME helped y'all niggas in the in the little in your little blogging shit. You feel some sense of loyalty, but that don't mean you gotta stand next to a nigga doing clown shit. He trying to defend Battle Truth. He brought Battle Truth up there. He shouldn't even want to been up there with Battle Truth. He should have been the first one. Like, hey, yo, hey, yo, China, why is this nigga in the chat? Now, I don't fuck with that nigga. He, he, he got those accusations, too. You didn't say that. Why didn't you say that? You actually trying to defend it. No, uh, this happens every time. We talk about, we talk, we talk about Chris and Bias. They bring up, they bring up the fact that this guy's a, and you and you know what he did? He booted that nigga while you was talking. Shut the, shut the fuck up and him the fuck out of here. You try to play it off. Oh, <laughs> battle truth. Oh. <laughs> you a bitch, my nigga. I gotta tell you, that nigga is a bitch in life, like in real life. It's a bitch. Like, we know that. You could easily get run down by anybody. DME is a pure, uh, like this is pure bread bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is a pure bitch. I'm going to need y'all to share this, please. Share this, like, comment, all of that. Please hit that like, hit that share. The more y'all hit that like, it gets surfaced to more people, right? That's how them subs been going up. It's slowly. It's going up, though. Just got four in the past two days. You know what I'm saying? I just got, I think I got actually like six in the past few days. But still, that's the past two dogs. So loot to everybody. We, this channel's growing slowly. I don't mind the slow growth. That's cool pause. But I don't mind the slow, the slow progressive, you know what I mean? I don't mind that. You know what I'm saying? Salute to everybody here. I will read the comments in this section. I got a little bit of work to do, though. Because this nigga did some other shit. Another, another like, first off, let's go to, um, let's go to the hat real quick. He went to the blog. He went to my, um, now, mind you, he goes to the, and this is why I hate when niggas be speculating. Mind you, he do a thousand speculations. This is why he could get proved wrong a million times, right? So, Right. Let's see this. All right. So, in this video of me when Rex is announcing us that we're dot mob, right? He goes specifically to my hat, right? Mind you, he says, I don't know what type of hat this is. I, I can't tell if it's, it's got some. Uh, Illuminati insignia because he see my you see my shirt. It's just a fucking shirt. That's why I be talking about with weirdos like that, right? So let's let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right. So this is Rex announcing we're dot mob, right? Let me show y'all. This is Rex announcing we're dot mob, and like I said, though he was so emotional, he be reaching for anything. You see the hat that I have on? Like, all right, you see the shirt that I got on? He tried to say this is uh, Illuminati things on my shirt. Just because it's a fucking New York shirt. Niggas be having ill shirts in New York. That shit was $45. Nice little shirt. Different shit. Oh, look, 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 look. Right, right. All right, so the hat I have on, he like, he like, I can't tell what happens. That's a poor man. He is a broke hat. He said all sorts of shit, right? All sorts of assume. This is the hat. Right, this is the hat, y'all. Okay, so let me let me let me remove that from the screen so y'all can see. This is the hat, mind you. It's a Nike hat. It's a Nike dad hat. Nike. This is Nike. Nothing against it. Forty something dollar hat, cool. Really the trip. But this is the type of little speculation y'all feed for. The, the 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 naive ignorant motherfucker go, oh yeah, look at that hat. We don't know what hat that is. It doesn't have a uh, it doesn't have a team on it. You guys are fucking. This is the type of dumb niggas in the comments. Dumb. You know how dumb it is that 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 right there, me just going, this is the Nike hat that I had on, makes him look stupid. You don't may you may not really interpret that. You may not really absorb that in to understand when a nigga prove you wrong, you're dumb. 
You're dumb. You didn't know. Dumb is the ignorance of not knowing. He is stupid. Because you made an assumption. You could just be like, oh, I don't even like the outfit he got on. But you want to try to reach. Ah, ah, ah. What is that hat? Niggas are corn, my nigga. And y'all niggas got to stop this. Y'all got to put, this is the type of faction needs to put a stop to this. Cut that nigga the fuck off of this. He needs to be cut out. He's not a benefit to the culture, to none of you. He's actually debilitating the way you process information. You get what I'm saying here. If a person here makes assumptions, which is making your ass, uh, making your ass out of you and me when they say assume, right? So why is he out there doing that dumb shit? Making assumptions. And you guys run with this type of nigga. I, I really got to say, if you're not running with that type of nigga, please share this live out. Please share this live out on your Twitters, on your Facebooks, on everything you got. Please get the message out of this goofy nigga. Why is he in this culture? We got to boot him. That's why that channel, gone. Gone. What niggas is saying now? Oh, channel gone. Channel. Fuck out. I don't care what you're crying about. We all don't care what you're crying about. You know why I don't care about what you're crying about? Do you know why I don't care that your channel gone, Adep? Hold up. Oh, God. This shit. Don't freeze up now. Uh, freeze up now. Come on. Come on. Let's go. All right. Okay. So, I'm going to load this up. Let's load up this picture real quick for y'all to see. Look, this is the reason why I ate that. It is truly a bitch ass nigga for this. Hold up. Let's, let's go. Let's see this. Remember, this is the same nigga complaining. So everybody going, yo, man, his channel got taken down. That's not right. That's, that's just not right. Yo, how many people you disrespected on that channel? That he just waiting to reload with a hard drive. He's waiting to reload it to a new channel. Oh, look, come on. All right, window. All right, there we go. Who do y'all see here? It's part of the thumbnail. How to smoke and why? Due to a copyright takedown, notice that we received. We had to take down your video from YouTube. ADEP, HNIC, lies, exposed. We need answers, right? And I'm going to get to what was in that blog. Take down it by Angel DePina. This means that your video can no longer play by YouTube. You received a copyright strike. I received a copyright strike. What was he crying about? What is he crying about if he got flagged, your channel got taken down? You deserved it. Well deserved. Well deserved. This nigga, this nigga should have slapped more. That's the type of shit he would. You finally got slapped, and we're like, yo. And I say, finally, that's another channel gone. We're going to get another channel of yours gone. We're going to get all of them gone. We're going to do that. We're going to get your shit gone. It doesn't deserve to be there. See, now the difference is I may be talking some toxic, toxic stuff to you, but this comes out of. The genuine saving battle rap from you, you fucking piece of shit. You think it's cool to literally just make assumptions on the entire culture. What you did with my hat was what you did with everything in this culture. Weasley's fun house. You're reaching. This nigga got a family with kids. If Beasley catch you in the streets, he is gonna. This nigga is a UFC fan. He trains. The nigga push back the crowd on fucking you all real stage. When if bees, I promise you, you will never, ever purposely go meet Beasley. You will never do that. You will, you're terrified. If you saw Beasley, you would run as fast as your feet can take. You might trip because your legs can't move as fast as your mind wants it to process. It won't. That's how fat you'll start running. You are a pure bitch. You went, you know why you went to No Mercy? Because he was destroying you. He, she went in his inbox. You were infuriated. And, and to No Mercy, salute to No Mercy, right? No Mercy felt the need to defend people saying 
yo, man, oh, I'm not no mercy. I'm going to say something about that. No mercy, you got you to gotta kind of take that. And let me show you why. It's like a battle if you choke in the third, right? You might have won the first two rounds, but you made it debatable to people now that the third you choked, right? What we mean by that is you did the job. You might have, let's say you won because you did win that fight, but you won it by three points. You, and, and I, I say this for me, if I get hands on a nigga and I don't beat him enough to know to stop this shit forever, it ain't enough. You didn't do enough. We salute you that you did something. You was in the fight. But at the same time, our all of us who wish are like, man, you didn't do enough because he's still out there going crazy. So if he's still out there with the proud, proud enough to go, yo, I, I beat No Mercy up and I'll still beat y'all up. You didn't do enough, No Mercy, and I fuck with you. I hate the fact that I have to say that to you, but it's, it's the reality of it, right? You did not do enough. Maybe you didn't get the chance to. It was too uh, um, uh, sudden of the moment. Well, outside, maybe y'all went out actually fought, became a deterrence from you fully beating his ass, but it didn't enough you didn't you didn't because he would have stopped this shit he would have went converted to the full hip-hop he would have did something else he would have stopped that shit knowing that's how niggas feel you supposed to beat him enough that's all we that's all no mercy nobody feel like you a clown you this and the third nobody taking none of that shit from you bro salute to no mercy i really respect no mercy he fought for his wife his kids, he came outside. My man said, hold up. He jumped back in the chat. Oh, I ain't know this nigga was out here. Well, stay right there, bitch. And came out for this nigga and beat his ass. That's true. You didn't do enough, though. Yeah, he made a call of cops. and Whatever, if the cops came and that was the one that would stop it. But it wasn't enough. You know what I'm saying? And I would have had to put that on myself. I'd have been mad at myself if I had enough. I'd be like, damn, man. This fucking cops came. And my whole stuff. I was going to keep going at this nigga. You know what I'm saying? You, you, that's why we gotta be realistic with the situation. You know what I'm saying? I, it's all salute to no mercy. That is a cool brother. You know what I'm saying? I respect that man. Like I say he's not even he's not even like a, a gang bang or none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But he came out like a man. Yo, you're not gonna do. You're not gonna disrespect my family. My, I, you know what I'm saying? That nigga was disrespecting, bro. I don't respect niggas who disrespect your wife. You as a man, none of that shit, bro. I don't respect it. You know what I'm saying? From the jump, I'm gonna say that from the jump. Now, what I don't like sometimes is 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 some people get into fan mode. I'm not gonna point out the blogger's name. The blogger told said something like, "You trying to make niggas pick sides? I went through war with this motherfucker already." When it's like, yo, this war that you took him out, you went with this motherfucker. Not saying you won or lost, but this is you talking about some blogger shit. That he ain't violate you enough because he disrespects the dead, kids, anybody, and says and then tries to act like he upholds that with the Chris and Bias shit. But you fuck with that move when you got beat by no mercy. Who the first person you went to? The pedophile of the fucking culture, the admitted pedophile. When I'm talking about Chris and Bias, which is still under speculation, nigga, you. Fuck with Battle Truth, who admitted he fucked with an underage girl. I I really think y'all don't get the concept of what I'm saying here. This nigga is a poison. You know what I'm saying? Share this out real quick, y'all. Share this out, y'all. Let's get this out because I still got more work. I still got more to display to y'all. Right? So hold up and listen to this. Let's listen to this video where he says something. Hold on, I want y'all to see this video where he says, and this is the same nigga who flagged my channel. We're gonna, we gonna show this. Let's show this. All right. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. So let, let's get the confirmation, right? He said, right? In clearly, niggas could talk about my dead uncle. Mind you, fact, right? I brought up all fact. 
His uncle died in 9-11. For those uninformed, his uncle died in 9-11. I prove this. That's why he's the hyper psychotic conspiracy theorist. Plain and simple. His uncle died in 9-11. This is a little kid. You see, y'all remember 2001. Let's get clear, y'all. The internet finally started to get in most people's houses, really. Like, we're talking about, I would say, everybody had internet in their house at that time. Remember, you, cell phones were not, cell phones were out there, but not like everybody was Super Balling with cell phones yet. You see what I'm saying? Like, you had to get some, you had to have some money, a good family getting money for them to give you a cell phone. Yeah, everybody wasn't getting cell phones yet. You know what I'm saying? So, like, this is a kid who was just influenced by the internet. If you type 9-11, Right, because still a kid, nine, nine years old. What happened to Uncle Jose? And he's checking and finds out all of these conspiracies on 9-11. He finds out all Bush possibly with the towers and and possible businesses that, that needed the, something with the world trade. Like all of these conspiracy theories in here. Oh, the planes were set up and, and, it, and, and it was an explosion before the plane hit. For a kid whose uncle died in that shit, and 9-11 being so prominent, mind you, he's nine. He's nine. Adep was only nine at the time, right? Grows into a young man. The next 10 years, he's seeing all this shit, all sorts of conspiracies, all sorts of rituals and things he's reading. And this is an unguided child, right? Like, everybody processes information the same. We can hear the same story and interpret it a whole different way, right? We could see this a whole different way. This poor kid, right? Poor little Ada. Now, mind you, it gives no excuse for what you become as a man and you understand what to do. So now that you've become this way, you're supposed to understand what you're doing is wrong, right? You're supposed to be grown now because that nine-year-old shit, kick it out the door, right? You were nine, misguided, but that doesn't mean when you now are full adult, you're excused when you start to understand right and wrong, right? You know that what you're doing is wrong. That's why you jumped on there and saying, I kind of crashed out. I shouldn't have called the, that number. You crashed. I made you crash out many times. You can't tell me you ain't taking an L. A nigga, there couldn't be a thousand comments that convinced me you ain't take major L's for me when you're admitting it now. You're almost crying about it. Niggas can make videos of my dead uncle. Niggas can make video about this is you crying about it, bro. Nobody, I ain't could care when you did all that. Shit. I told you, oh, all right, watch. Because when a nigga catch you, he catch you was up. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna tell this nigga who I know that he know. I'm not gonna tell him. Why do you think I was so privy to all this information, bro? He's so dumb. Because all I did was make a few calls. I know so many. Come on, you know niggas in the Bronx say that. Why you act like nobody gonna say nothing about you? Crazy, crazy. Let's listen. Let's continue to listen. That's crazy. But let's continue to listen to what he says. Post pictures of your mother. Yeah. You don't flag videos? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did this nigga say I don't flag videos? I'm confused. Because he was behind a lot of people's channels getting taken down. So how were you don't flag channels? Right. If you do not flag channels, right? Let's say you don't flag channels, because that which is a complete lie, right? Why what happened here? Why does it say? Why does it say this? Why does it say a, a angel de pina? I, I'm confused, Angel. Explain this. A copyright takedown notice, that's a flag. I've received a copyright, so you flagged me. You reported my video. What you're complaining was done to you. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Hey, Depp, let's, let's see. Let's listen to some more. Oh, he's what? Let's go back. What? All right, so I mean, I'm pretty sure this is clear who flagged it, right? So who who flagged my video? It says it right there. 
I mean, that's pretty clear. <laughs> pretty clear who flagged my video. Uh, I don't get where the, so this blatant lie. Like he's not, he's by I see 43 in the comments. I know he in there with a fucking profile or two going ham. He on his phone, he on his laptop and tablet on three. <laughs> Yeah, but and some of them niggas about to get booted. You know, even gonna get to watch this shit a little more. All them shits booted. <laughs> Getting in the fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, this nigga is infuriated. I tell, cause like, let me see. All right. Like I, bro, this is the same liar. This is the same liar who said these things. Oh, y'all couldn't hear when I played it the second time. All right, well, he said it again, man. He said it again, again, yo. You know, I don't flag. I don't flag. But yo, look, I got flagged by you, sir. Why did I get flagged by you, Angel? Because especially the video, let me tell you what that video was. And now I'll break it down. That video was, when it says Adept H and I see lies exposed, I use his video. And I used his video to show how he was blatantly lying. That motherfucker took that shit down that day. That nigga took that shit down ASAP. <laughs> he was, yo, when I say that was another crash out, and from that flag, I stopped blogging him for a minute. This is what stopped the first onslaught of ass whippings I was giving a death. When I caught the 25K from exposing him, when I caught the two, another 2K for exposing him, because I remember, I was the one bringing that info to y'all from my nigga in the Bronx saying, yo, son, oh, this is it. Yo, this is mom's. This is I, I, I. Oh, he's conspiracy. It's because his uncle died. Nigga's giving me everything. And the person got to be closer to me, though, Adept, to know all that, right? They got to be close enough, right? I ain't going to say who they know. I ain't going to say who, who it is. Because in due time, <laughs> in due time, sir, in due time, y'all, y'all think this is this is nothing. Everything is the rollout to the amazing. Oh, everybody gonna get to see it. Everybody gonna get to see you get your ass beat. Whether you call the cops or not, you can call the cops. Yo, he beat my ass on camera. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. You got to move or something. You get to get the running, but you know, you you really brave enough to stay in it. Wow. <laughs> really brave. I ain't even got me. You brave, though. In certain levels, you brave. Or you're just that dumb to think that no one eventually will catch up with you. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I ain't going to cap you. You dress corny, my nigga. Like, I ain't going to cap you. I was seeing it. In the, and the nigga want to talk about how I dress. Did y'all see the thumbnail? Bro got on some, what, mountain gear boots on or some shit? This is trash, bro. Got a plaid shirt. Nigga, don't like with plaid shirts. It's like, who the fuck rocks a plaid shirt, y'all? This ain't Cal. Even in Cali, they don't rock plaid shirts no more. He had the Craig shirt as he goes into a gay bar. <laughs> he had the Craig from Friday shirt on, dead ass. And I'm not even capping it, y'all. I could bring it up. That nigga had the, the, the Craig from Friday. Yo, son. Listen, this, this is a that man. This is a that man. This is, I don't know why y'all still rock with that nigga. I don't know why y'all still rock with that nigga. Let me see what some of these comments are saying. I know. Oh, he's in there. Infuriated. <laughs> infuriated. Look how bad he is in the car. I'm not even reading this shit. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, uh, Mercy got beat up, and I'm not going for it. So why was – all right, No Mercy. Here's where he lied again, and I'm not even going to go to it. So No Mercy, mind you, No Mercy went live that day. When he got into that fight, he went live that day. I swear to – I could swear to God. I swear to God. He went live that day. No Mercy. Uh, a, a Depp goes, oh, no, nah, you took three days to go live. I swear to everything, everybody who know, no, No Mercy went live that day. So that's how we knew it was cap. We knew it was cap. So many niggas know you just cap. They don't care about none of that. You're mad that your channel got taken down. You're mad. You're infuriated. I'm not gonna, let me take the comments off my screen because he's mad. You don't see niggas like Liddy backing you up. Like what Liddy is, if Liddy backing you, that's how you know you're a sucker. And the Liddy nigga gonna get caught too. Liddy nigga gonna get caught up too eventually. Niggas don't need you right now. But you did bad enough. You showed your face. Dumb as fuck. Dumb as fuck. The lady nigga dumb as fuck. Because when I point my attention to you, you're going to get caught up too. 
your family, every. That's you should get up out of here. You, the litty nigga, I'm going to give this to the litty nigga one time. I'm probably still going to get you anyway. Even if you fade off, you better get from here. This ain't the type of trouble you want. See, you know what it is? You're dealing with a nigga who don't give a fuck, and you think you're safe. But you put your face out there. The minute you put your face out there, you're fucked up. There's somebody who's going to know you. Somebody I know in New York is going to know you. If you're from New York, it's, and it doesn't even matter because I'm going to get, I'm, listen, when I focus my attention on you, I got my attention on the ADEP, right? I got every, I'm the one who got everything on ADEP. I'm the one who revealed his name. I'm the one who revealed, uh, no, actually, no, no, no. Uh, was it? Might have been me or No Mercy. It might have been No Mercy. It might have been No Mercy. Might have been No Mercy. I don't know who revealed your name. But we got out there, you know what time it was. Once I said, yo, who's this nigga from New York? I know this nigga from the X. I, I, I. What, it didn't even take long. And once I found out your race, that helped me. You stupid. I know Dominicans, nigga. Are you dumb? I know Puerto Ricans. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? You stupid? I get some money in New York. I got niggas in the Bronx who I fuck with. I've been over there for years. Years fucking in the X. What, are you crazy? There's niggas you know, bro. There's niggas. And you know what's crazy? The niggas you know be cornballs, too. The niggas you know are pussy. They not like that. The nigga I'm getting from the, the info, he's not, he not even like that. He not like that, bro. He not like one of them street niggas. Cool nigga. Uh, okay, cool. Get you. What? what? Man, yo, you really, you really just naive, Angel. You naive, man. And, but I, like I said, I, I give you enough to, to know that I, I want you to know. Because there's nothing you can still stop it, right? Same way there was nothing you could do. Then you can do with your channel getting taken down. It's getting taken down. Getting taken, the next one getting taken down. Watch it. It's going to be gone. About to be gone. Another channel. You have to find something else to do because I'm going to keep taking them down. If I find a new channel, you better change your name. You got to change your name, everything. You better be something else. Because if you ain't that, you're getting taken down. <laughs> your channel getting taken down. <laughs> promise you. I promise you. <laughs> You don't realize what you are. Oh, because they say it's cyberbullying and this. Yeah, nigga. You must be, yeah. When I'm telling you, fact, I don't bring, I bring up screenshots. You flag me. But said you don't flag niggas. But you flag me. <laughs> Yo, it's blatantly there. Right? But you said, I could flag, I could flag the, 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 the joke of NY. Or flag the cap of NJ. I don't. Okay, I told you, nigga. You flagged me. So what are you talking about? I could. You did flag me. You goofy nigga. You flagged me. You blatantly flagged me. <laughs> you blatantly flagged me off your content. Why were you scared of your content being analyzed? Then you took down your original video. Because you knew I was breaking down your lies about being in that house with them kids. I was coming up with truth. You didn't never bring Kyrie up. Why did he bring Kyrie up, y'all? That's another ex he can't bring up. Looks like problems. The same dude who got arrested for being in someone's house. Wait a minute. So he got arrested for the, the being in the house with them kids. He got arrested for being in someone's house and, and, and refusing to leave, right? You could type Angel De Pina, um blotter, or you could type, um, you know, um, what do you say? Uh, wouldn't leave, guess it's violent. You can see that. It pulls up. And he didn't deny that was him. There's another case that I'll bring up where he took, they was talking about how he poor. Like, yo, they were like, yo, he poor. They was just keeping it funky. Like, he a poor person. It was a case. Um, I don't know the, I don't know the details are I could find. Some type of citations or some shit like that. But this nigga was claiming he poor. This was a couple years ago. You was just claiming you poor in court, my nigga. And you want to tell people you got money? I make all this money. No, you don't, nigga. You was just making, I just showed you, was making $15 a couple years ago, bro. $15 in New York. Oh, my God. $15 in New York is preposterous. You could barely live off that. Why you think she ain't stay with you? She probably was making more money than you, and she got some good dick because you're not focused. She in the park with you telling you, why can't you focus on her? Of course she's going to give the play up to the next nigga. And you get mad at no mercy putting that out. She hit his inbox like this nigga stalking you. 
Why don't you bring her up too? Why don't why why is your fans not saying, yeah, bring the girl up? Because we know, bro. We know. We know it. We know what you what you are, bro. You a complete stalker, bro. You one of them, yo, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. You a beta, you are a beta. You a beta who want to be an alpha, but uses like a feminine energy. That's the real thing. That's what you are. You really think about it. You know what I'm saying? This is what you are, bro. Let me show y'all this right here, too. What's up with this? Hold up. Why did I do that? All right. Let me show y'all this right here. All right. Uh, what, what man stands like this? What man stands like that? A real though, hands to the waist. What man stands like that? Y'all don't find that awkward, this nigga, the gay. So the guy who talks all of this gay stuff, real zesty motherfucker, stands like that, walks into gay bars. <laughs> Yo, this is the thing. He obviously left this nigga because he's not a man. He's not a man. He's a kid. He's a, a very delusional kid. It's sad. Your father, your father's a disappointment too. He not, you know, I told you, your father don't even love you. I told you, y'all go to his father, Jairo de Pena, J-A-I-R-O-D-E-P-E-N-A. Jairo de Pena on Facebook, y'all. Y'all could all see this. His old ass father, <laughs> Things and does all this shit. Now, mind you, if you go back in time, he put up a pic picture that we got of a that he put that same picture up in 2017. My job must show you the timeline. It's like you know, your father don't love you. 2017 put up my son, happy birthday. Right now, the same picture he puts up in 2021. You know how easy it is to get a picture, right? Of family. He couldn't get a new picture of you. The nigga posted the same picture four years later. Mind you, within them four years, he missed saying happy birthday to you. <laughs> so the nigga don't barely got a picture of you. That shit was fire. His, yo, yo, that shit is hilarious, bro. It's quick analysis with thought, right? He puts up a picture in 2017 and the same picture in 2020. He don't love you, nigga. He don't love you, nigga. Love won't do that. You won't do that to your son. You won't be like, and first off, every year he should have put something. But he didn't, yo, he posted the same picture of you as a fucking kid. You had no facial hair or nothing, yo. <laughs> your father don't love you. That's why you like this. Your father ain't been there. You know what I'm saying? Uncle Jose is dead because of conspiracies, because the world trade 9 11. Yeah. Because of the sacrifice of the 9-11 victims. <laughs> so who's really the sad? You the real one who's got to sacrifice the uncle. That's crazy. But you want to talk about other people sacrificing for battle rap? Sacrificing their loved ones? But yet you out here with your family dying on one of the most, I would say, definite controversial days of history that we know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this this psychological attack is not even an attack. It's the reality. That's the scary part. It's not like an attack. You know what? Like how he attacks is all fake, man. He takes a one basis of truth. He took my name, looked up everything, and put my aunt in a bunch of video in a bunch of pick awkward pictures. Like that's my fucking aunt, you weirdo. But all right, right? You you you're gonna act like you don't see that we didn't have the same feature. The same facial features. His smart ass couldn't be like, wait a minute, this might be, this might be a family member. He did an immediate assumption. That's that's your baby mama. <laughs> Yo, she looks like me. <laughs> she looks. That's not even like I got three. I got like four or five of the aunts that don't even really look like. She is the most of all that looks similar to me. Like that's the hilarious part. This thing here, man, that's it. Like, she I, she didn't even think, like, like I'll see, like, a certain, like, I saw the picture of him and his brother, and I knew, all right, or that, maybe that's his cousin. I could be wrong. But they look enough similar that I'm not going to do an assumption, right? I, all right, I'll show y'all a picture. 
I, it's not like I did an assumption. See, like with this picture, y'all never see me say, because I, I this is the type, and I'm going to show y'all the type of spin doctor he is, right? So if I would have saw this picture initially, right? Okay, let's say, and I would, let's say I was like him, some like person who just uses falsehoods, right? Like you just do as much fake shit as possible. Let me show y'all this. If, if I was, wouldn't I, okay, hold up. With this picture right here, with these niggas close as fuck. This is why he's stupid. This is why you thought a nigga dumb. You just make assumptions, and assumptions make you look stupid. When you, especially when they're proven, right? Hold up, come on. Why is no? Are you gonna freeze up on me? Come on. Oh, I'm opening too many windows. I know that's what it is. Come on, come on. Let's wait till this come back, and I'll show y'all this. It's, it's being crazy right now. All right, here we go. You just gotta give it time. It pops up. Oh, come on, come on. Ah, uh, I don't know why it's taking so long to load. That's crazy. Give it a second, y'all. But yeah, man, this is... I, if I was to do the same assumptions, I would do the same assumptions on pictures of him. Like, like hold up. And, and Okay, here we go. All right. All right. This is his brother, I guess, or, or family member. But see, I don't make assumptions, right? I see they look similar. So I don't make this dumb assumption. Oh, he's, he's got a gay lover. Look at his gay lover. <laughs> this is what he'll say. This is his gay lover. That's who that is. His gay lover. Right? This, this is a, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a gay lover. This is what AW. This is why I be trying to tell y'all I don't use fake shit. Obviously, I can tell it's obviously maybe some type of family member, brother or cousin. So I'm not gonna make this. You, 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 you feel around, you, you you make gay things, and now you're hung up on your gay lover. This is what he would say. This is the type of shit he be on. <laughs> Mind you, this is the same guy walked into a gay bar and just makes assumptions, make assumptions, make assumptions. He was laughing when he went to the gay bar. He, I walked into a gay bar. You know how gay that is? It's gay, bro. No, no, no real niggas is about this. No one wants to see that shit. This nigga is a complete corn, man. I'm not, like I said, bro, I'm going to beat your ass eventually. One day, God is going to give me the grace to see you and kick your ass. <laughs> I'm not really worried about it. We are going to, listen, and we're going to get back to battle rap soon. I know this sometimes is, ain't even worth the talk. So I proved him wrong. Listen, I proved him wrong about my my hat. Uh-oh, remember my hat? Step? Oh, it's a Nike hat. It's a Nike hat. He was mad that day. He was, well, I can't even tell the insignia on there. <laughs> He's a fucking geek. You're a fucking dork. you a bitch-ass dick. <laughs> Plain and simple. I mean, this is fun to me, man. Only reason why I say this, man, is like I said, man, I, I want better for the culture, man. We can't have a like this. Remember this, right? So now all this Beasley Funhouse shit is, is is obviously fake, man. I don't believe none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? No validity. That, that's just fucking weird. He's done said shit about Av. He done said shit about. He said shit about everybody, man. He said shit about everybody. I'm not really with a conspiracy. If there's something behind it. Usually you have a good dialogue about it. Y'all could talk. Y'all could find out what's the reasoning behind things. Usually, man, especially black people, we ain't on no weird shit. Black people ain't on no weird shit, bro. Not like that. Y'all be on some weird shit. See? Now, if we really break down the history, y'all be on some weird shit. We don't really be on that shit like that. Actually, I'm Jamaican, too. So, like, we really, we really not into it, bro. If you really understand, we're not in. That's not part of my culture. That's not part of what we are as men, bro. You know? That's not the facet of makeup of us, bro. We really don't do that, man. Our culture really is against that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, but salute, salute to you and all your your, your hidden secrets. Walking in the gay bars, he forgot he was live that day. That's what it really was. That nigga, then they forgot. Oh shit, you niggas just walked into this bar. <laughs> this nigga walked to a gay bar. This is the same nigga, bro. Y'all got to chill, man. Y'all got to chill. But. I do expect and hope to see a lot of y'all in the comments asking him these questions, right? Why didn't you bring up Kyrie like you said you was? You said it live on Angry Fan shit. We're going to call Kyrie. And you didn't call Kyrie. Why didn't you call Kyrie? Why didn't you call none of them? You ain't called nobody? You ain't called nobody from that case and you expect people just believe you? Why would they believe you? 
if they are, they're not even though. That's crazy. They just like your content enough, and that's scary. That they'll just be like your content, which we've seen it happen all the time, right? We've seen followings, twisted followings, bro. There's a lot of twisted followers. You probably got a lot of pet pedos in there because they just want to hear that type of content. Being rich. I don't watch none of your shit. I don't watch shit you. I swear to you, niggas send me shit. The clip that I played with you saying, I swear, do you know what I get a text of? Caught that nigga lying again. I don't watch your channel, bro. I don't watch your channel. Man, this weed stayed on my fingers, goddamn. But, uh, <laughs> nah, but I'm saying I don't watch your channel, bro. I'm not into your channel. I'm not into your type of comment. Even the blogs you make about me, I watch what people send me. I send a time stamp it. I don't have time to put energy into your shit. I'm not subbed to none of your channels. I see them there because I've done my research when people tell me, yo, you know what I'm saying? But, Bro, you like I said, man, you died a while ago, bro. You died a long time ago. You just keep using internet and people, your little fan base and your little screen, your your other profiles you go under say certain shit. Like you're under right now, you're trying to switch profiles, say shit to almost try to coincide with yourself. You're corn. I don't have one other account for anything. I have one account. For everything I got. My email, I got one email. I use my email for everything. My one email, I use my one uh, uh, YouTube channel. I use my one Facebook, my one Instagram, my one Twitter. You know what? You know. Automatically in his shit, I bet you he got like mad accounts there. That's the type of niggas. Y'all know it's true. Y'all know I'm not kidding. That's what I'm saying. One thing I don't do is cat. I, don't, I use truth. I use reality. I never speculate. I didn't speculate on you and whoever that family member was of yours. You would have speculated. You hugged up against some boy. I don't know who that is. That's what you would have said. Like you hugged up against. You was just a weirdo. That's where your mind go because you you down low. That's you, bro. Nobody care about that. All of a sudden, I was calling you down low and you ain't with no business. You was just, hey, Mariah. Because I kept calling you that. That's the only reason. You weren't trying to, if you was trying to holler at her, why don't you up with her? It's not that hard, nigga. You know what I'm saying? If you was really trying to link with Mariah, but you're skeptical. You're scared. You thinking she lying to you. You don't know who lying to you on the internet. That's why you don't link with none of these niggas. That's why none of y'all will link with him. Dumbass nigga, he black, who done stood in his, in, in all the cats. Like, now I'm understanding. Pussy niggas like plea black. It's niggas like that. They'll be on your side one second. They jump to the next. They'll be on both niggas who beef his page. Y'all niggas probably be on Hall of Man Quad page throwing batteries. That's a bitch nigga like you, bro. Don't fuck with bitch niggas who do weird shit, bro. I'm just keeping it funky. I was shocked to see P Black say anything against me. I'm like, fuck this nigga. That's crazy. Very disappointed in P Black. I'm disappointed. But. You need that. You need to know who to bullshit people. I know the people in my comments or in my, in my sections going, yo, nah, 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 this, that, and the third. I fuck with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Those are the real ones. Yo, we know what he's saying. Bullshit. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I know a couple people who said, yo, I used to rock with him. I'm starting to realize that content ain't it. So I hope y'all start realizing that. I hope a lot of y'all start getting like that. Yo, I'm, I'm starting to realize I wouldn't stand on that. I got kids too. Especially the niggas with kids. Y'all should understand it. How? He disrespects children. He disrespects children, bro. Nigga said, yo, yo, he, he, he so-called wanted to protect my kids by making that fake call to CPS, right? But he didn't, did he also tell y'all that he docks my Addy? So let's say I had an op that was trying to get me. Right, my kids are in harm's way. How are you trying to so-called protect my kids, but also dox my Addy? Doesn't make sense, right? Doesn't make sense. Does not make any sense. That's that's how you know falsehoods. But we know one thing: everything that nigga says is cap. He's not a real one. Salute to the real ones. Salute to the real ones in here now. Salute y'all. You know what I'm saying? Salute to y'all in here now. I gotta salute y'all. Because y'all sort of help. 
know what I'm saying? Y'all sort of help at least the guys like me, everybody who went against the depth. Y'all help us, man. Because really, really, like some people, they needed that. I didn't need it, but it was so great to have the support. But what I'm saying is I didn't need it because my motivations are different. My motivation was getting the message across. I needed this message across. I needed him to see the truth, bro. Like, he's a corn. I just needed him to see the truth. I, I, that was just my goal, man. It was to expose everything about him. I didn't care. I, I didn't care if he was going to do what he did. My, my government is out there. I put my government on my Facebook. You goofy nigga. Like, it's there. I put it there. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not scared of nothing. When I see you, you see, I'm just like, man, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. Crazy. The things, the things that, like, oh uh, man, the things I see in the internet, man. Uh, but you gotta, you gotta understand this, there, like, right? You got a lot of people supporting Tasha K. How she talk about battle rap? She talking crazy about battle rap. You got people support that shit. Just being real with y'all, this that be out there supporting that. That goofy content, man. You know what I'm saying? She's saying shit misinformed on battle rap. She don't even know battle rap. His father can't come visit him in the United. Oh, we gonna let's start reading this shit. I know Ben be having me rolling. Ben be having me rolling. How long are you? <laughs> yo, that's crazy, yo. Okay, so vice versa. You with a flat too? Oh yeah, man. Oh, Rum Gwitty, salute, man. Rum Gwitty. Let's see. My man Ben said, "I seen that video. Your mom arrested for assaulting children on the subway while she was panhandling. That's crazy. That is crazy. I don't defend them bias." Fuck Chris unbiased. That's the number one. Hold up. I don't defend unbiased, nor do I defend and love the poor child. Versus your contradictions are the ban of you, right? Well, yeah, okay. Well, how I feel, um, Triz, Ian Wild, like, um, I, I ain't gonna cap you. Fuck it, fuck Chris unbiased, fuck battle truth, fuck a that man. All them niggas is in the same boat, right? DM me, he he right there. I feel like DM me. Got dark secrets he don't want nobody to know about because why would you support Battle Truth? If you're so against Chris and Bias, why do you support that? I would be cool with DME if he was saying fuck both of them niggas. If he was like fuck both of them niggas, I'd be like, oh DME got something he stands on. But when I found out you don't got no kids, you 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 are you're against one guy, right? You got no kids, you're against one guy uh, uh, about what he did to grown women. Mind you, grown women, which is still, if it is true, it's wrong, and Chris and Vice deserve to fucking burn. But you want to ignore that? I mean, I mean, the battle truth blatantly saying, oh, you know, she lied and sent me uh, fake IDs. And and if and the story, he said, and I'm telling people this story, and they not, like, yo, bro, once you say I'm telling people the story, you ain't even telling people, I'm telling people the truth. You say I'm telling people this story. That shit felt like you lied. Hearing that shit. That's crazy, bro. Crazy. That's facts, though. That's facts, though, Ben. He is going to cry. Yep. Oh, and this fact right here. Look, he's saying it. Hey, Depp, you support my molesters. You BS and spend too much for views. Exactly. And you contradict yourself way too much. For me. Exactly. Same thing he's saying. I just showed y'all. Oh, he don't flag. He flagged me. Oh, uh, the nigga who's... Oh, he's got like some uh bum ass hat. It's a fucking is it yo? This is I'm not even gonna go into that. That's a yo, bro. That Nike hat cost me bread. Stupid. He's stupid. <laughs> and hold up, rum gwitty. The mo Hershey is a little pause. That's a little spicy, right? Pause, it's like that. Pause when he said this. I knew boy was fruity when he said anal cado. Pause. He do this shit with so many niggas. Names is so gay. Like rum gwitty, we respect that. We're like rum gwitty fire, gwit man holla, ha 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 fire. He does that with all gay insinuations. The same nigga who walked into the gay bar. It. I I don't even know how to make two plus two add up so well for y'all. <laughs> I really don't know how. Bro. This nigga, yeah, that shit is crazy. The Mo Hershey is hilarious. <laughs> Yo, 
he went he went live in the dark blue room, not gonna lie, lol. And I can't stand child molesters supporting A Death anymore. That's a fact. I like I said, I, I, I can't stand none of this, but you know, this is the poison the internet. I understand that. That's why your Jewish man in the sky cursed you with lupus. <laughs> Yo, this is hilarious. <laughs> Oh man, I didn't read all these comments. I was just in my zone. A pilgrim not to man worship while pushing a religion that is out of uh, invisible guy in the sky. You should watch it. <laughs> yo, Ben is hilarious. Oh, yo. Yo, this is hilarious. Every day you think eight hours a day, that you definitely lost. <laughs> this is hilarious. Hold up. First off. Yo, look, look, this is definitely a cat, right? Number one, I didn't lose. What I lose? <laughs> There's nothing to lose here. It's not a battle. It's not a fight. I'm exposing reality. He said he put up a picture of my aunt. He called out my baby mama. If y'all look, she looks like me. How she looks like my mother. That's my aunt who looks like my mother, who looks like me. Her son looks like me. Similar. That's the hilarious, the hilarious part of this thing. It's like, oh, why do y'all go along? Let's say that. So that false thing is what you, you're trying to say, beat me and lost. I lost. You definitely lost. Bro, that's a depth on another fucking page. <laughs> Yo. Uh, if, if that's now, hold up. This is this is a cap. This is a cap. He said, hold up. You're wait a minute. He said, let me see this. You're a white nightmare cult leader. <laughs> that's a fact. That's what he's doing. Or that's him. I really think it's a depth. Remember, he left all of a sudden, right? He left the chat, jumped into another, he jumped into another profile. He jumped into I really slapped niggas. Then he started defending a depth. Because who who defends off what I proved right here? What I proved alone, who would try to defend anything from that? Hold on, hold on. All right, come on, come on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, here we go, here we go. All right. Uh, you do number, you're the number one adept blogger. That's true, right? That's your legacy in battle rap. That's my legacy. Oh, that's crazy. I'm just dot mob. I'm just thanks. I just got two, two, two names coming up. You know what I'm saying? Both been on URL before. You know what I'm saying? I got Bosevich 4 who were giving a shot to. You know what I'm saying? Got paid nicely for that. Yeah, that's all That's all I do that rap. Right. I wasn't here long before you, long before this A-Jet beef. I wasn't, I didn't have, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't have Supreme Rap League where Jack Boy battled for the first time ever, the First Lady Flames. Oh, two, two people to culture review. Oh, easy to block Captain Battle on my league. Tink the Demon, Remedy Loco. We, you know what I'm saying? We got a list. Prince of you know what I'm saying? Show off. Pre I, I, all I did was that. My fault. All I did was film for many leagues. You know what I'm saying? All I did was film. You know what I mean? All I, that's all I did. I was a cameraman for a while, right? I've just been a part of this culture for so long, you know? But my biggest legacy is destroying a death. You're right. You're right, sir. You're right. <laughs> Look, the little rat ran out the chat. Yo, this is crazy. His father can't come visit him in the United States, though, because he's wanted for child abuse charges. <gasps> and I could believe it. I could believe it. It makes sense. You don't even have pictures of your kids. You don't even have recent pictures of his kids. Dad, man, that's so damn. He wanted for child abuse charge. That's great. I could believe it too. Yep, he gets it. He gets it. He gets it. The blaster. <laughs> he knows why. I say, yeah. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's why he understands. He understands. The logic, man. You understand, man. Smart man. All serious. There's some truth about this shit. A depth. Hold on, hold on. Industry and battle rap. All right. So, so all serious. Now, hello. This is the type of person. All seriousness. Now, mind you, I think genuine person. There's some truth about this shit. A depth says 
about the industry and battle rap. Do some research. Now, sh- 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 let me teach you something, Jason. Let me teach you. Let me educate you. <laughs> right? Let me, let me make you knowledge. Life ain't knowledgeable right now. What happens is, you got. let's say you got two bloggers. One uses, both are giving you information. One gives you a basis of fact that he only really sources on factual material, right? But then you got another person who takes some basis of truth and makes a a, a million assumptions with it. The problem is this person is going off fact. So there is a high level of certainty in the truth. With this person doing a bunch of speculating, you have the option of being wrong. So many options. Why would I go to this from this blogger to this blogger, right? If there is some basis of truth, some people like Piper Boy are better to go to pause, pause. But <laughs> when when you when you because like Piper Boy might be like, yo, yo, um. There's a conspiracy behind this, that, and the third of the leagues hiding something or a booked battle. But it's never, first off, it's never really weird out the box shit. This niggas come up with out, this nigga comes up with out the box weird shit, bro. So now you're saying there's some truth about a depth says about the industry. Maybe some, but you rather get fed. Within 50 pieces of information, you rather it 20 of it true, 20, 10 of it skeptical, another 20 false. Because he's gonna get this, he's been proven wrong multiple times. That's the problem. I don't want information from a person who's possibly wrong, or even I don't want that. Why do you want to listen to a person who's possibly wrong? Which he's wrong about majority of the thing he says. So let's say, Jason, do you really believe Beasley has a fucking sex house for battle rappers? A man with a wife and kid? So-called, now, and I hate this, right? Beasley's so gay. But then when the Nunu rumors came out, now Beasley's so straight. You niggas is weird. And you try to just believe anything. There's some serious, there's some real. You, yo, Jason, I, I, promise if you do some self soul searching you will see that this train of thought that's inside you to even believe it that comes from something in a youthful your youthful age you grew up in and you went through something or you experienced something that's just guiding your thought to a wrong process you can't look at everything like there's something wrong Something's being done over there. Something weird's being done over there. Cause something weird happened over here. No, it's not how it goes. You need a basis of truth. And what people taking, that's like this. So is this now, all right, I'll, I'll bring it back up. The picture of ADEP with the brother I put up just now. Is, is, am I to say because ADEP walks into gay bars, makes a bunch of gay insinuating comments and content, He's sitting next to a, a young man. I could say that that's gay, right? That, he's he, that's his gay lover. Is that what I'm supposed to say? There's base. There's some truth there, though. Remember, because there's some truth to what a nigga says, right? So some truth makes reality. You have to be more grown, now, Jason. So please look internally and fix that up, man. That shit is that shit is nasty that you even think like that. Yup, all his subs is weird. All his subs, uh, all his subs is weird, bro. That's a fact. That's a fact. And I'm ho- I hope that that whoever it comes into my my channels and whoever is subscribed recently that is like that, please. I hope I'm helping y'all detox from this shit, bro. That's what I'm gonna say. Chat giving each other. <laughs> Moped names, yep, and name flipping zesty words. That's a fact, bro. That's all they do. That's all they do, bro. That's fact. It's kind of sick. Yep, that's a fact. Then they talked about the the good lord. <laughs> that's <laughs> they go from that comment to talking about the good lord. You don't watch his shit, but you know names of co-hosts and shit. Who's co-host? 
but I've seen clips. I told you. What? See, this is where a person. All right, now, now you're just. This is just another ad. This got to be another one. This got to be another one. You don't watch his shit. Did you hear what I said? If I don't watch it, I said people send me clips. People send me video, the, the links, and I say timestamp. What's the timestamp? Because I'm not watching a five hour fucking live. You didn't listen. That's the problem, Jason. You take some. Remember how you said, oh, there's some truth? You took some and flew with that bitch. You didn't listen to the whole thing. That's why I be saying people like you shouldn't be thinking. You shouldn't have a, you shouldn't critical think for nothing on life yet. You're not capable yet. You don't have, I have no kids yet. I can tell. Because you're not critical. You're not a critical thinker. What the fuck was that? You in the same live, in this live, I say clearly, people send me the clips. I could, I'm not doing it because y'all see who y'all gonna see who's doing it. People send me the clips. I have tons of why do you think so? If I'm and I can't be capping about this because no mercy just said keep up my inbox. His girlfriend who was screaming, Jason, answer that, Jason. Why was he stalking his girlfriend outside the house? Is that cool, Jason? Why was he um Kicked out of somebody's house in 2015 and wouldn't leave at 3.15 in the morning around that same time. Hmm? Around that same time. 3 in the morning. Why are you at somebody's house at 3 in the morning? Why don't you have your own place? Why are you out somebody's house at 3 in the morning and won't leave? Why is your girlfriend in another video screaming, why are you at my house at 3 in the morning? Crying on a fucking voice message saying she's scared. Why does that happen? Are Jason, are you answering that? And I hope you go to his questions and answer that. I hope you go to his comment section and ask that shit. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that. His lady, Caution Mariah, was trying to get the D from his homie, Liddy. Oh, my God. And made a stream slandering Liddy, who was holding him down. I hope, Liddy, you learn from it. I hope you learn from it, you dirty little nigga. <laughs> that is hilarious. That is hilarious. I was, yo, he said it. I was watching with the popcorn facts. Hey, Depp can't bring his girl around his home. He's putting it. <laughs> Bella, you. That's a fact. I think battle, oh, I think battle truth has dirt on a depth low key. Probably, he probably do, but I mean, it's gonna be limited. Really, niggas know that shorty. That shorty know everything. That shorty know everything. She probably know little things he got caught with. You know, he, he like he's super weirdo. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, this is just hilarious. Like I said, bro. So it's so it's not in the industry. Then look at this nigga, bro. We don't know what's in the industry, goofy nigga. But I'm not gonna make an assumption, stupid. That makes you dumb. That's what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, bro. God, I hate naive people. Like, I really would like to see you in person. Are you stupid, my nigga? So it's not in the industry then. No one, no one is certain of anything. We don't know, stupid. But I'm not gonna say yes to something I don't know. I'm not going to say no to something I don't know. You're
goddamn browser crashed again, y'all. Bra goddamn browser crashed again. My fault. I'm opening it too much shit. But to put it simple, um, you know what I mean? Like, uh, that's what I get for opening too much shit on this computer, man. You know what I mean? But uh, like I said, man, this is a, another body bag, man. Oh, uh, man. It's crazy that, you know what I mean? I see you still in the comments. I know you're mad. You're infuriated, man. Where, you know, you're a bitch nigga. Just know that. And we're going to catch up with you. <laughs> the funniest, man, the funniest thing, I ain't going to say the one name. I can say one name. And and right now, hey, that y'all don't know it. I can say one name right now, and they definitely go, like, like he going to be shocked that I know this nigga. He going to be shocked I know this nigga. And how close to his family smoke understand I'm, I'm i'm in the door man <laughs> he doesn't know and he's like yo man i yo if i if y'all think i've been quiet right and I'm, I'm handling life you know i got kids i got bills i got a lot of things to do right if y'all think i ain't been in the bronx y'all ain't think i've been out in the yonkers Man, nigga said Google Chrome 23. Nah, that's funny as hell, Rum Nitty. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go check, man. I gotta check my updates and all that, man. Fuck all that, man. That's probably what it is. I bet you I got a thousand updates. Yo, whoever, who, yo, y'all all do this too? I'm just like, update later. <laughs> Am I the only nigga? Update later, nigga. Fuck out of here. Reschedule this update, man. You ain't gonna update my shit now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, let me go update my shit, man. But, Look, man, Adept is furious. He's in the, he's in the comments, man. He has different accounts that come up here. That's that's some accounts, bro. That's why he jumped out of one account, and y'all see him back in another. He was the Jason nigga. I body Jason out the comments. He come back as a as now in this profile. I'm not worried. Listen, Adept, man. I ain't worried about you, man. This whole like and and he sent me a little fake threat shit. Nigga sent me. I don't even know. Nigga said, you seen what I said, the death chat. He's telling me like, yo, I got more, I got info on you. You don't want me to get out there, get him. Get the info. <laughs> bring him up. Bring who up? Niggas ain't. Oh, hold up. I could put this, put this in the chat. I could. What, what? Who wants to come up? My fault. My fault. I didn't put this. I normally put this in the chat. I don't know what's up with me, y'all. Tripping. I usually normally had that in the chat. Who wants to come up, man? Who wants to come up? If it's ADAP, I got that to say to you, man. I just got something. What I see you, what's up? Go, don't cover my platform down to say to you, Go on your platform. Answer, answer your people, man. You don't got to answer to me. You know? Don't answer me on my channel. I'm just going to bark on you, call you pussy, mute your mic. I'm going to do all sorts of I'm going to violate you. So I wouldn't even come up here if I was you. <laughs> I wouldn't even come up here if I was you. I wouldn't bring up none of your people. Don't send none of your people. I'm going to roast them too. I'm calling them pussy in their face. Your man, Liddy, he put his face out there. He's going to get caught up too. I don't even care if Liddy your op now. I'm going to chip Liddy up when I. But he's later after you. I want I want him to see you get that beat. And then he go, oh shit. Oh shit. That ain't coming for real. He going to beat my ass. All right. Watch. All right. Listen, we, this planet ain't big enough. You Y'all ain't, and y'all ain't far enough. <laughs> y'all ain't far enough. Y'all right here. Y'all perfect. That means you gonna get Detroit DM me ass whooping everything. <laughs> you gonna get Detroit DM me ass whooping. Yeah, man. This gonna be goody. Oh, what to? Oh yeah, I'm here. I put the link. Even if ain't that matter of fact, ain't that you wanna pull up? Pull up, ain't that? Pull up, ain't that? Cause ain't no con like I'm gonna beat your ass with God. Like plans and so you can't say nothing that's not gonna like plan is executed. Plan is already in play. Your channel down, all that shit, bro. Yeah, if he wanted to pull up, he could pull up. I put the link in there. Him, DM me, anybody could pull up right now, man. We can have this conversation. I've been whooping his ass. <laughs> he been helping my numbers get up. I love this. This is therapeutic. <laughs> it's therapeutic. Mm -hmm. Like I said, man, we got a lot to talk about battle rap too. I got a lot of people who want to pull up to my show. You know, salute 
everybody been telling me certain things. Uh, I'm about to have them pull up, married to the bars, a bunch of, you know, get your bars up, media, a bunch of, everybody was like, yo, smoke, let's get back to battle rap. I got some agendas, though. Me whooping his ass every other day, it was just like, I'm letting him, even when I see No Mercy shit drop, like, let me let that little settle in, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all needed to see that clip of his girlfriend being terrified, man. Uh, and and what's crazy is why is why is Jason not in the comments saying nothing about that? All his people who's when he switches these accounts, you notice they talk about that. See, like here's the thing: that's how you know it was a death. Because if the Jason the Jason nigga would have been like, well, "You do got a point. I'm a press a death about that shit." He ain't say none of that. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be in the comments. Exit. There's no way his answer was acceptable when he's outside of this girl house screaming, "Why are you here?" Why is he here after a voicemail of her crying? Listen, hey, Depp, you got to be more of a man. Get up out of there. You you look like a fucking corn, bro. I just want to show y'all this picture again. Yo, this nigga here, hey, man. This shit look like a pure corn, my nigga. Hold up. Let's bring up the picture of this nigga. Like, yo, he's stalking her outside the house. I got to see how this nigga dressed too, bro. The dress, the dress is hilarious. Like, you don't... You don't dress this, man. This is crazy. I definitely know you don't got no New York's drip to you, man. You barely have New York drip if this is what you want. Hold up, hold up. Oh, yes. Where did I put it here? I am EC. All right. I want y'all to see this shit. Look how this nigga dressed, bro. This is crazy, bro. That shit crazy. I want y'all to see this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that nigga, that nigga fucked up in the game, man. I just taking long to load up. Why is it? My computer really tripping. Shit got a whole terabyte free of memory. Why are you acting like this? Why are you acting like this? <laughs> Hold up. I'm, I'm I'm just zooming in. I want y'all to see nigga looking goofy. <laughs> and it is the same night, yo. Know, same night in the gay bar shit. That it was a bad night for him. The cops pulled up on him. That shit was a bad night for him, bro. Cops pulled up on the nigga. Man, his girl telling him stop stalking and get away from me. That was a bad night. Y'all see this shit right here? This your homeboy? Look how he dressed, bro. Bro, look how he's standing. Yo, you weirdo, man. <laughs> Yo, look how he dressed, bro. You talking about drip? You got no drip. Why was you talking about my Nike hat? That's so fire compared to this shit costs more than your outfit down there, bro. You got a plaid Walmart shirt on, nigga. Are you bugging? You could buy this shit at any discount store. That's not true, nigga. You got some boots on. Is that boot cut Edep? <laughs> boot cut Edep, Donnie? That shit look corny. <laughs> oh, look. He left He left the Edep account, jumped in this. He already went over that whole thing. That's your answer? He already went over that. That's Edep's answer on all them profiles. Oh, he already spoke about it. That's how you know his ADAP. Because a real nigga, any real nigga gonna be like, that shit was, that shit was funny. Word up. Yo, you, this is how you don't even know how to disguise this. You a, you a weirdo. They know that's you now. Now they know that's you. Oh, he about to, there you go. That's how you do now. That's how you do now. You just got sent. You just got sent, nigga. I don't need you here, Jason. Goodbye, Jason. I'm going to let Adep stay. I'll never boot from this channel, Adep. Your, your, your Jason account, gone. He gone with the other ones. Get out of here. I don't hurt my foot kicking this nigga. Out the fucking... Get the fuck out the chat, nigga. <laughs> Fuck out the cat, you goofy ass nigga. Kick that nigga out the fucking chair. You don't get no you you're basically defending this nigga. He answered being outside his girlfriend. This clip right here, he answered that to you. 
But you come in here and question me? The same nigga who crashed out called CPS on my kids, he crashed out. He's been on a crash out the past week or two. Y'all niggas try to tell me I lost when I'm killing this nigga. Yeah, I don't got as much subs as him. I don't care, nigga. <laughs> you really, yo, you know what's genuine? Uh, the most genuine thing in all this is how much, like, zero fucks I get. Like, how little I give a fuck. Y'all, uh, I'm a battle rapper who blatantly put his name out. Got nothing to hide on this planet. I'm a person that if any person hits my inbox and says, I want to link up, pull up, whatever, I'm the type. There's a blog on my channel that says, why I pulled up on my last. DOS hack me, son. Word up. That nigga tried to DDoS hack me, son. Had to be that. Why my shit just do that out of nowhere? I got good fucking internet. 5G and all that shit. Well, why would he got here? The joke of it. Why? Hello. Uh, you see? Now hold up. And we boot him. <laughs> and we boot him. And we boot him. Niggas is booting them. <laughs> yeah, boot that nigga quick. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> he signed on. Yo, I can't wait to get all these accounts. I can't wait. Because <clears throat> I would like to have a dialogue with his actual fans. His actual fans could come up. I'll let y'all come up. I won't, I won't boot y'all a while out. <clears throat> I'll let y'all come up and talk. Oh, here we go. Oh, the gay, you see, another gay comment. He jumped in with another gay comment. And you know what you get? You get booted. You get booted. <laughs> I just kicked the next one out. He could go to another account. Look, yo, he definitely about to go to another account. Yo, he going to another one, another one. Come out, y'all. Come on now. Get your account booted. I can't wait. I want to get all y'all out of here. Y'all think I need the, the viewership or something? No, I'm gonna ban y'all from my channel. Don't need y'all. I don't care. I don't care. You gonna find out and look another new he came in with another account. Come on, Adapt. 
Come on, I know it's coming. Say it. Say something. Watch. He gonna either do two things. Because there's only two options, right? You gonna text some dumb shit, and I'm gonna boot that nigga to get that next account out of here. It's not doing nothing but helping my foot action and kicking niggas, bro. You stupid. You stupid. Yo, ain't that there is the I told you the only way to win this with me is to beat me up. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to do what you did with no mercy or something like that, right? I gave you my addy. Then pull up. When I came to yours, it wasn't the right addy. Me and a bunch of niggas was looking for you. You did. You was never outside or whatever. You stayed in the house that day. Remember, you told you how to come to my door. Remember, come to my door. Well, you're outside the building. Come to my door. What <laughs> you said. Ah, he dead, man. Come say something angry under that new account. I'm not gonna boot your account. Either. You better off saying all that dumb shit from your account. I will allow your account to say stupid shit. All the other accounts that you keep signing under and saying the same rhetoric that you do, boot. I don't need them shit. Boot. Those aren't real fans. Boot. <laughs> Niggas is gone. I can't wait. I can't wait. Das boot. You get das boot beer fest out, my nigga. Das boot. You get. You get booted out of here. The niggas got booted. Kicked the shit out, you niggas. All the profiles is gone. Remember that first one you used to came over? Uh, I forgot the name of it. It was a funny ass name, but that one too booted. That one booted, 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 booted. Salute, man. I, I salute everybody that's in my inbox. Niggas be giving me dirt. Niggas be giving me all stuff. Niggas gave me dirt I didn't want to use. <laughs> Heard up. I'm like, that's not even good enough. <laughs> Oh, he said some dumb shit. Oh, he always say dumb shit. Nah, I'm trying to do what pertain to me. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot about you, bro. They hate you. A lot of people hate you, but they're going to catch up with you. Somebody, listen, man. Once one of us beat your ass, we going viral. We going viral. I'm a, that shit going viral. I can't wait to beat you up because it's like, think of the expectation. I prepare for this shit like a battle. <laughs> Nigga, word. We going to do views. <laughs> we going to get viewed. I'm thinking, could we, could we like crack? Y'all think this. Nah, see, it's not going to crack a milli, but it's a fight. Sometimes fights go, you know what I'm saying? If they get that world star push, we could do a milli. I, I think we could. The right traction, the right the right people behind it. Now, battle, now what's funny is Battle Rap done touched the mainstream world. I knock you out on camera. Oh, it's lit. I think I'm getting interviewed by everybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm lit. Oh man, 15 minutes of fame going to have me up. Everybody, they all hate you. The whole culture hates you. I'm going to get booked on Smack, URL, everybody. Because <laughs> they're going to be like, smoke the nigga. <laughs> nah, you said Luis Fernandez. I, I see what you're saying. Salute, for, uh, Luis. Luis, uh, I got to give attention. You got to give attention, man. Why not? What am I doing today? I'm chilling. It's my home time. I don't have to be at work till tonight. I'm good. I'm chilling. I worked last night. I was thinking about going live last night. I ain't like, I ain't want to do that shit. You know, I put your laptop out, set it up at the workplace. I ain't want to do all that. I'm doing my job anyway. I'm like, let me finish my job anyway. I'll just do this live tomorrow morning. I'm too tired at night. And I ain't cat you. Do all that and while I'm working. No, no, no. It's all right. I'll be in the offices doing my job and I'm just chilling, bro. I said, I figured, man, I'm not going to take the laptop. I was raining last night. I'm not taking the laptop out and do all that. So I came through in the morning, man. The kids is at school. Wifey's at work. I'm chilling, right? So this is the best time to give some attention to that. Um, My battle I'm writing for, you seem like a cool brother. I just don't want you to do nothing stupid for a nigga that ain't worth it. You know he ain't coming outside. All right, all right. So let me, let me answer this, Luis, right? Yo, listen, you got to think about it this way, right? I have to do what I'm supposed to do, right? As a father, he's endangered my children. He's doxed my crib. Um, did all sorts of shit, bro. Threatened, physically threatened me. Doxed my crib and fake call CPS on me. So how do you say you're trying to protect my crib, but you dox my crib, right? And you're making threats to me, right? So cool. Like, what are you talking about? So all of this dialogue, you seem like a cool brother and all that. That don't mean nothing to me. I seen what you typed in my, my comment. You notice I didn't... Delete your comment because your co your comment came from a good place. It's not something I'm not fucking listening to respectfully because I'm going to beat his ass. It's just that. 
I couldn't tell you how to feel about somebody doing something to you. So, and if people want to say that's the L because he violated, crashed out, fake court, CPS on my crib, and doxed it, yo, then, then maybe that's the L. Maybe that's the L y'all talking about, right? That he comes in with. But really, we know what's up. See, look at that. A depth said he gonna find my children. Did you see that? Did you see that, Luis? That's what I'm talking about, bro. That's what I'm talking about. See, Luis, whoever this guy, I don't even know if that's that could and, and respect to you, Luis. You could be in the depth account that's coming here trying to because you kept saying the yo, God, don't bother that nigga. No, I don't care. I don't care what you're talking about. And me beating his ass with my hands is cool. I could do that. And remember, he said he's going to attack me, Luis. So you got to understand. Cut it out. Cut it out, Luis. Salute to you. You know, either watch and enjoy the show or you could really, like, you know, watch for the content that's going to be about battle rap. I'm not mixing it no more where I talk about battle rap. When I talk about battle rap, we're talking battle rap. I got, I do got a blog coming. It's about homecoming and, and, and current events that's happening right now. But I'm not doing that now. <laughs> First off, this is funny. Whoever typed this, you still shit. So we go, we go, and I'm not gonna do heavy on addressing this. Yo, you still shitting in diapers and putting them back on kids. <laughs> so mind you, that was uh back in the day. I made a, a old bar where I said, um, I said he didn't, they didn't warn you. I do some fucked up shit. I said, yeah. I said he didn't warn you. I do some fucked up shit. He um. I shit in your baby diaper and put it back on. It was crazy. It was shock value bar, right? Shock value bar. This is battle rap. I didn't say no kids' name specific. This was back in 2010. 2010. You know how the shock value back then? See, shock value back then, you could be like, your mom's is a, like, you could be like, yo, your mom's is, ah, uh, uh, you could go a nigga, you could say the most crazy shit. Your pops is a bitch, nigga. Your pops is a dyke and your mother's a man. You know what I'm saying? You could say anything, right? And it kind of was like the shock, funny value thing. It's sort of like, you know what I mean? This is 2010. We're talking about 13 years ago. Oh, that's fucked up. Feeding, nigg feeding niggas rice and not giving them water cold, nigga. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? That's some crazy shit. It was some crazy shock value shit. I ain't never say no really crazy. I never talked about R wording and things. Like, that's not really my style. You know what I'm saying? But I did say shock value thing. I said a lot of shock value things. I said I'll punch your dog like Jack back and anchor man. I said mad crazy. Like we, we say these outlandish bars sometimes, right? It's cool. It's rap. That's rap. You know what I'm saying? But. No, I mean in bars in back in 2010, I was shitting in in my bar. I shitted in a diaper and put it back on again. All right, that's all. That's all right. It's a fucking it's a shock value bar. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't like like I said, man. I'm not really, and I don't even write like that no more. That's crazy because, like I said, you get older, you get more. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't even think why. I had like one child back then. At the kid, I had like a little one little little kid at the time and back then. That shit. I feel you know I had one daughter. I feel you know I got a six year old and my kids is off limits. Just don't kill him. Oh no no no! Of course, come on now. I'm not gonna kill him. Like, this is really, I need mean, to. I tell you this: you gotta be a gangster motherfucker to feel like this is like death warranted. You know, I, I maybe I just feel like some things are too far. You know what I'm saying? I'm a realistic person. I'd have been pop pop that pause. You know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, I didn't like I said I didn't got shot all that shit. I don't care about that. Though. I don't care about and look, look, he probably gonna take this. Oh, I got shot. Hey, I got shot. <laughs> oh, I got shot back in the days. What the fuck is that a big deal? Like shit happens. You in Brooklyn while and I don't your kid, man. Like I said, man, I've been through a lot, man. That's cool. He can now he's gonna run with that. Watch. Yeah, you got shot. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. He said it. <laughs> but no matter what, all the things I said on you are true, Angel. And I know you're still in these comments. I know you're still watching, Angel. And I've exposed everything about you. Like me, I think me and a me and no mercy are literally the reason you got killed out there. All these times you died, you don't beat nobody. You didn't win, and that's the whole thing. Let me explain to y'all because y'all be saying a depth's undefeated. A depth actually is all defeated. <laughs> 
See, here's the reality that you guys are stupid on. Whoever says, first off, this is how you know it's his comments or his people or his profile trying to say that, right? A Depp has lost everything because what is true about him is the reality, right? His uncle died in 9 11. His father didn't post recent pictures of him or nothing like that. His father probably don't even know what he currently looks like. I'm just telling you the truth. That's just the reality. It does not on his Facebook. He's posting other things, but not his fucking son's current pictures. He got one picture he posted multiple times on different birthdays that were years apart. It's not like the same year. 2017 and 2021, he missed gaps of giving you new pictures to say happy birthday to my son. And I'm just telling you the truth. All these things are truth. You walked into a gay bar on video. Truth. All of your content looks gay. It's when you read it, it's gay comments, it's gay pictures you make. You literally sit there and customize these gay photos. Facts. Everything I said is fact. Facts. How you do me that? That's a fact. That's why I killed you with that. You don't even subconsciously realize that. Mr. Blasphemy. Do you see the blasphemy of how you think? You didn't realize a depth. I'm psychological. You know how you go, that's a fact. And that's actually usually when it's a cap. Usually. Just saying. I've exposed you, man. Bad. Yep. Uh, and, mm -hmm. How old was he when that happened? He was he was uh 19. He was 19. When that happened with them kids. Mind you, Lewis, why he never brought up the girl? Okay, okay. No, no, I'm not saying that. And my fault, my fault. You're not a depth. What I'm saying is you got to understand the possibility. I understand what you're saying and salute to you, Fernando. That's why I said salute. You got kids, you understand what I'm saying. What I'm saying is all those are answers he need to answer. I don't see people in his comments forcing him to answer things. When he does, it's not acceptable. You niggas say, oh, uh, uh, he answered it. And I'm not saying you, because that might have been his comments. But what I'm saying is, hopping before you came in is, yeah, he he been a cow hopping. You know what I'm saying? So let me see. Nah, at 19, ain't in no damn abandoned house. Yep, mind you, abandoned house with, with other younger people. He had... There was, mind you, the unnamed youth was the worst part, right? Because she was under 16. She was she had to be detoxed and went to a hospital because they had to, I guess, pump her stomach, maybe do one of those things. She was charged. Remember, a victim isn't charged. I think they stopped something happening in the house. Remember, a that ran off, got caught with three other dudes, not the so-called girl he came in with. He said he came in with this Kyrie girl. That's what he said. But he didn't leave with her when they left that house. And he said, I said, bring up the Kyrie girl then. Okay, I'm going to call her right now. He said that on Angry Fan Live. Never called her. Why he didn't call one of them to vibe him on his live? Here's the thing that makes it more crazy. If he would bring them on a live, would they expose something else we don't know? Hold up. I'll show the, the article, Mariah. Mariah says, show, show it. I got you, Mariah. Hold up. I got you, Mariah. I promise you. You know what I mean? I was going to wrap this up, but okay. No, no, no. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Yeah, so he was arrested. Hold up. Um... Uh, yeah, he was arrested, like I said, with them kids. Like, how were you, mind you, he really supposed to bring that girl out. Why didn't you bring that girl out? Hold up. Ah, why is this doing this, man? All right, here we go. Here we go. So, let's, let's get this going. Let's get, let's. See, see, hold up. Now she's trying to defend. She trying to see, let's read that he was 19. Let's read that he did something to the underage girl. Okay. That's not what that says. Of course. But why is he in the house with this underage girl is the question, right? 
told y'all. Oh, yeah, I was just in that. Mind you, that's what he says. Oh, uh, come on. Why is this being like this? All right, now share screen. Now, this is what, like I said, what's scary, what's scary is he said he was going to call Kyrie. Why he never called Kyrie? What's Kyrie going to say? What's Kyrie going to say about him? Why he never called him? All right, so now let's bring this up for y'all to see. Damn, shit, I got to be slow. I got to be calm with this shit. This shit wigging. This shit wigging to the max. Come on, man. Why is she froze up, yo? All right, here we go. We back. Shit being crazy. Yeah, he was, it doesn't matter. Let, let me see. Let me show this bitch. I see the Mariah chick. Mariah, what you think about him outside his girl's house and she screaming, she crying, and she's saying she's scared of him. What do you think of him outside her house at three in the morning? Why is he outside her house at three in the morning? And he set you in here, Mariah. I don't give a fuck, yo. I'm about to boot your ass in a minute, too. <laughs> How you talking? I don't think you know my vibes. I don't think you know my vibes, bitch. All right. Different. <laughs> she about to find out. This nigga went against my kids. She about to find out. Let <laughs> God damn. This fucking internet. Damn, this shit won't freeze up. That shit Wiggins, huh? All right, all right. That shit wicked, though. Nah, I don't know. You ain't saying nothing disrespectful, but you don't understand me. I'm booting niggas who defend this nigga. So let me explain it to you. First off, Mariah, you I don't know me. This nigga false call. Yo, he did mad shit. If you ain't following, I don't give a fuck anyway. Because I think you don't understand this scenario, Miss Mariah. Miss Mariah, this nigga here. Is gonna get fucked up. Miss Mariah, what you gonna do <laughs> is respect my platform. Mm -hmm. I'm saying read the full article. She's saying read the full article, right? Now we're gonna read, and I'm still going to have you. Okay, let's. let's. I'm trying to find Angel's name. Where's his name? I know he was caught separate. All right. Oh, here we go. There's a lot of Angel. 18 at the time. She was 19. I mix up their ages. Why he didn't bring up, he said he came with the Kyrie girl. Why he didn't bring it up? Now, hold up. We're going we're gonna to get this right. Because she said, read the whole article. I'm going to read it. A busted house party will land 10 teenagers in front of a job the next week. Felony burglary charges. Police say the teens were drinking in an unoccupied house on White Street in Harrison, right? One of the teens also faces a felony assault charge after police say he put officer officer while, <clears throat> while trying to escape. Police responded to 105 White Street at about 11 p.m. on February 18th after receiving reports that several teens were entering the vacant house. Upon arrival, two teens tried to escape the window back of the building, right? Now that's the two things, and we're gonna break everything down. The two teens were Lyle Long, right? Right here, that was one of them, after detaining the two, right? Police all this, it was at the time police say Lyle Long, 17 of Harrison, tried to flee, punching an officer in the face in the process, right? Another officer at the a scene assisted and placed Long. While searching Long, po police say they found four ecstasy pills in his pants pocket. This is pertinent details, Mariah. Four ecstasy pills are in this kid's pocket. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's see where it said Lyle Long. Lyle Long, 17, right? 17. He's got four ecstasy pills in his pocket. He was charged with second degree burglary and, and, and the drugs, right? So mind you, the drugs, the drugs, you got to remember the drugs. 
during the struggle, six of the suspects, right? Aldo, uh, 17, Jamie, 17, Joseph, 17, and a teenage girl younger than 16. Right? Younger. That means she's 15 or less. The unnamed youth intoxicated, police say, but not charged. The only one not charged. She was hospitalized, hospitalized in White Plains and later released to her mother. The other three were arrested. Arrested and charged with third degree burglary, a felony along with misdemeanor tra criminal. Tra While canvassing, remember, a dep said a dep's lie was they came with Kyrie. That's his lie. He came with Kyrie. While canvassing the area, police spotted three males walking and on Quatona Avenue, Daniel 17, Angel 18. Okay, so he's him and Kyrie are the only adults there, mind you. Juan Ramos, 16, were arrested and charged with third degree burglary, a felony, along with misdemeanor criminal trespassing. All with the rest have been getting. But why is Angel with two other niggas? Because he said he knew nobody at this party but three. That's what he said. He said, I ain't know nobody there, but Kyrie brought me there. My girl brought me there. That's what he said, right? A 19 year old, he's putting that on this 19. Year old girl, girl that she brought him to a bunch of 16 and 17 year olds party that his claim was and that whatever happens where did see here's my thing if you came with somebody why would you run off and be somewhere else with somebody else that's why it's cat that's why he never brought Kyrie up when i challenged them because i knew the key to that mariah was saying why don't you bring Kyrie up why don't you call her right now why don't you call Kyrie and find and let her pack your story up, right? Never. He said, I'm doing it right now. He never he tried to ask me a bunch of questions. Another responding officer found two males and a female. Said, Kyrie Philbrook, 19, of Mamaroneck. I don't know what the fuck. Mama of Mamaroneck. Okay, that's great. David, 16. Another all these kids, these are fucking kids, except Kyrie and Angel. Everybody is a fucking 16 to 17 year old kid. So she brought you to this kid's party, you're saying this kid's alcohol party, whatever. That's what your explanation was. Bring an interview with police. Phil Brook later admitted that she. And Sucho and Williams were at the party. She admitted it, according to police re reports. All three faced the same felony burglary and three minute critical change. So even your so called girl, right? Why she didn't say she came to you? She said she came with and Sucho and Williams. She didn't say she came with you. You got to explain on it. You got to get Kyrie. Someone, you, didn't, you said you didn't know nobody else there, so I'm not putting that on you to call the people that you don't know. But I do expect you to call Kyrie, who is your so-called girlfriend. Why not? And now I bet you he's going to say, he's going to say something bad because we had a bad relationship. Another bad, bad relationship you had, right? But I'm going to tell you this, hey, that I'm going to tell you this. this. is what you don't know. We could probably contact her. Yeah, of course, but he's an adult. Only 10 teens got caught. It was a house party full of kids. The cops can't catch them all. Nigga, they not Pokemon. Okay, um, as a simple thing, why he couldn't call Kyrie though, Mariah? Why he can't call down, why he can't call down uh Kyrie though? He said he was gonna call her, but then he doubled back. Why did he, why is he why is his the Sabrina girl? Crying on a on a thing saying she was scared. Mariah, why was she with a video? This nigga stalking her outside his house at three in the morning. Three in the morning. And he's saying, Oh, she got a nigga in the house, all of that. 
Then he acts he acts all like this with you. Hey Mariah. Hey, hey Mariah. He's so called in love with you, right? Mariah. Listen. Mariah, can he trust you, Mariah? <laughs> can he trust you, Mariah? Can he trust you, Mariah? Pull up to him. Pull up to him. Mariah, pull up to him. Oh, look, reaching like space. Yeah, pull up to him. Y'all should pull up. Link up with him, Mariah. That, that's what you should do. Link up with him. All he's going to do is possibly at 3 in the morning, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 3 in the morning, that's one of them. So hold up, hold up. Hold up. Here, we're going to do this, too. Let's do this. I got you right now. I got you right there. I'm pull up something that she definitely not gonna like. That's true about him too. But what's up with this one, right? What's up with this one? What's up with this one? <laughs> oh man, what's up with this one, uh, Mariah? Mariah, what's up with this one? That's another case. That's two. So the, all three relationships he got in, right? You see some shit about. You don't never see that about me, right? I'm a riot. You ain't never seen that on smoke. He ain't never had nothing with my baby moms and nothing like that, right? He could, he did full searches on me. He couldn't find no DVs or none of that. My baby mom said, get out, I'm leaving. <laughs> my baby mom said, three in the morning, I'm leaving. You know, because I'm a man. And I got no choice in this scenario. She going to win. It's a woman. So that's why he should have left. But why is he not leaving this girl too, Mariah? We about to read this about article. Did you read this one article? Did you read this one? Let, let, let's read this one so she can get it clearly. Maybe Mariah ain't get why her boy is a fucking weirdo. Maybe, maybe, maybe Mariah is just one of those naive internet people. Well, it's cool when you don't have all the info. You know, you think you're dealing with a solid person, right? But let's look at this. A guest not only overstayed his welcome at an apartment at 242 West 14th Street, he then got violent. He refused a request to leave at 3.15 a.m. Wow, it reminds me of that. Saturday, September 12th, punched his 26-year-old host and threatened him with a knife, police said. A 22-year-old woman witnessed the incident. According to a police report, the two men did not know each other. The report adds... Angel J. Davina, 23, was arrested and charged with misdemeanor menacing. Now, when you read this, you think, ah, oh, well, he, you know, he was asked to leave, and that's about it, right? But you didn't break it down. They're saying key things. They didn't want to develop into a big thing. But it says, punch his 26-year-old host and threaten him with a knife. 22-year-old woman witnessed the incident, right? She's the one who witnessed it. The two men did not know each other. That is the thing. It's not like he was at the dude's house. This dude intervened because girl was telling him, go. He refused to stay and threatened the nigga who she got as a fucking defense for herself to get this nigga the fuck out. Why he won't call none of them? Right? He won't call none of them. Another weird scenario with the, you know, with the guy who walks into gay bars, the guy who makes a bunch of gay content, the guy just a weirdo in life. You know what I'm saying? Who talks about the content he does? I don't understand. Like, all day. All day. Mariah feels content with a man like that. Go ahead, Mariah. You're not seeing my point. This, this is a losing battle. This is the losing battle you have. You're dealing with a fucking weirdo. And it's plain and simple. I'm not even reading what you said. Niggas get beat up. Ask no mercy. Yo, what do you mean? No mercy is on you. He's He's talking to the police. Police, help me. Help. This is what Adep is saying in the video. And he came to that nigga house. It's hilarious. If No Mercy really called the police, that he would have got arrested. You came to someone's house and attacked them and got videos online about it? You think he wouldn't have been in jail for that? No Mercy did a look and didn't make sure the cops didn't do nothing. That's what's crazy about people like y'all trying to even support that. Think of what your logic is. His logic was saying no mercy called the cops. If no mercy called the cops, you would have been in jail that day. All no mercy would have had to say 
was you swung on him. You're going to jail. You came to this nigga house, traveled online and showed. You went to this nigga house. No mercy could have had that nigga in jail for premeditated attack, which would have been more than just assault. It's a premeditated assault. Do you understand? Do you get Mariah? That's why you know you're dealing with a capping woman. This is a now she's in his comment. Now, now let me show y'all how I do this. Bitch, be gone. Two seconds. That's all it took. I, I let you talk. You see, Mariah, I'm such a nice guy. I gave you about 13 comments, bitch. <laughs> I don't even know how much I gave you, bitch. But I will not allow no one to to on my platform. This is where I'm God. Y'all better go on his platform. What you're gonna do. Yo, that smoke cap of NJ guy, and he's booted. Boom! Almost broke my foot in her ass kicking her. <laughs> Man, she's standing up for this type of. Why he searched me though? No, his. You saying I ducked the smoke? Smoke? Uh, Snow Biden? Really? That's a depth. You saying I ducked the smoke? Do you get what you're saying here? I don't want to talk to Adep on a live. That angry fan shit was lucky for him. With this, you gotta understand. He searched my name and couldn't find anything. Deplorable nothing. To, you know he, if he found anything, he's going to swing that. Pause. He's going to go crazy. But with this right here, I show y'all facts. He got arrested for this. He got arrested for something else. His girl, his girl got recordings crying, saying she's scared of him. He's on video saying, why are you always making these blogs? Pay attention to me. He's, he, yo, this weirdo walks into a gay bar. He makes a bunch of weird gay content. Everybody of his op ops are gay. Every person he's got an issue with is weird and gay. This is the type of person y'all go Y'all look, this is what I'm saying. You're a weirdo in this comment. You look like a weirdo. Hold up and let me give you the boot. And it felt good to boot that nigga. Do y'all get what I'm, these niggas don't get what I'm saying? I just booted seven accounts that probably were subbed or not. I don't care. You're gone. I'm not going to allow it. On my platform, I'm a god here. I'll click you gone. Nigga. <laughs> These niggas is tripping. These niggas is tripping, bro. You're not going to, you're going to come here powerless. You're going to make a comment, a depth, and get booted. It's clean house with y'all. I want the next profile to come through. Mariah, make a new profile. Come through so I can boot that motherfucker too. Y'all think I do this for views? If I did this for views, I would particularly go to Angry Fan every time and do this. I would go to 15 Minutes of Fame and bring up. I went to Angry Fan. That shit developed in the comments. I didn't call a depth out. I didn't say Angry Fan out of nowhere. Let's talk about a depth. I could jump in everybody live and do that. I could call up DM, uh, DNA Tooth right now. Yo, DNA Tooth, I'm about to go live and talk about this nigga. Here's some free content, nigga. And go ham for a whole hour or two. I'm a battle rapper. I'm not even calling battle rap friends. Y'all see me online with cool people. I could bring up people to talk. No, they don't even want this kind of mess. I don't even want them involved in did something you out. Hey, that. You really listen, man. Shouts out to the real niggas. Shouts out to the new subscribers. Shouts out to everybody. So real niggas salute. Y'all can see me in y'all city when I come out the. I'm cool as fuck. Coolest nigga, y'all know. Always smoking, always drinking, always chilling, bro. These niggas, you can't find nothing on me. He go, he paid my name when he when he uh docks my Addy. He paid my name. Oh, his salute, his his account, his his shit is gone. And what's crazy is I showed it earlier in this live. He blatantly flagged my channel. This the same nigga that flagged you. 
but he crying. He got flagged in his channel taken down. I ain't, I don't understand this. He goes. He they could post up pictures of my mother. They could poke up, talk about my dead uncle. Nigga, you do that to the whole culture. Now you cry. They could do that. I don't flag niggas, but you flag me. This is the type of nigga y'all don't fuck with that nigga no more, y'all. Don't fuck with a weirdo, bro. Put real nigga shit. If y'all want fuckery, there is so much fuckery in other cultures, other little demographics y'all could jump in, man. Why y'all bringing that to battle rap, man? That corny shit. Cut this shit. The toxicity got to stop. I am here talking facts. Nothing is embellished. I brought up his brother, the picture of his brother. I said, I didn't say that was a gay picture. You and family member, but you would have said something like that. You took a picture of my goddamn aunt who's damn there a splitting image of me and said that my baby mother and niggas went with it you stupid niggas went with it how? My aunt, look she has the same last name as me why would y'all believe that she looked like me? None of y'all thought that when I said it, I said, yo, she looked like, hey, y'all don't think that? I just went with it and let him look stupider and stupider. See, what y'all think is because a nigga put a, I could put a picture up right now of his mother. You know what I'm saying? I could put up a picture of his mother. For I, I know, so I'm the one who exposed who most of his family is. I could put up a picture of all of them. I'm not doing that. I could put up pictures and say that's his, his, uh, his uh one of his side holes. I could say all sorts of shit. I don't lie. I don't, it's no benefit to cap. And if you think a lie hurts somebody who's a real nigga, like a real when I say real nigga, y'all don't understand about real nigga. I'm not just saying this. I'm a real nigga. I be in the streets. I mean a real nigga. I don't care about certain things. A nigga couldn't your, certain people's harm can't harm me with bullshit. You can't. I'm just one of those people who want some I don't give a fuck shit. And who I'm not going to allow people to defend some ignorant motherfucker like this nigga, bro. I'm not. Just not. There's too much. This nigga is the poison. I don't need, I like, yo, when I thought about this shit, DME is bad for the culture. Yeah, DME is bad for the culture. You know what I'm saying? He is a culture vulture. He does not, and I'm going to break that down. This is the main thing I get on DME about. It's two things. He goes hard as paws at certain shit like New Jersey twerk, this, that, and the third. He goes, yo, you nigga, um, yo, he used to go, yo, you choking that up. But he wouldn't say that about certain other artists, right? So you could see the unfair treatment. The same way he go hard at URL and RBE or whatever, he wouldn't do that to King of the Dot. Or he wouldn't do that to his white. If you ask DME his favorite list, his top five was damn near white, all white people. I started to see within that, like, oh, this nigga has an agenda. He has an agenda to down black brands and only up white brands. At every, he doesn't, like, it's so crazy. It's so crazy that if you really pay attention, I'm saying this for y'all to pay attention, and y'all gonna really understand what the whitewashing shit he's doing. This is... This person is not part of this culture for real. He's a poison. He is a plant. He is a perfect example. That's what DME is. He is a culture vulture as well because he he'll stand behind battle truth reviews. You know what I'm saying? Who is this man? Listen, man, drop the link. What link, man? What link, man? What what niggas? Hold on. Man, my foot. Hold up. Let me get my foot ready. Let me get my foot ready. Cause this nigga about to go. Let me see. Hold up. Yo, you know what's going on? You know what's so funny? He sees it. Yo, he knows I'm about to. You know, Ben, right? What's going to happen with that account, right? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, hold up. Hold up. I'm going to get that account in a second. I'm going to get that account. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. That's a fact. That's a whole fact. DME trying to defend Battle Truth on 050 was crazy. That is a whole super fact. Mariah out of pocket for putting smut on niggas' names. That's a fact. 
you putting out lies dme never defended battle truth wait a minute okay he said he no now we'll play the video i love this ah, 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 ah. let's go let's go let's go as a matter of fact we might pop out the 050 later on <laughs> hold up we bring this up guys I'm bringing this up guys right now bringing that up my man said, no, what? I was like, we go, we kept the foul. <laughs> we kept the foul. And as far as, I'm telling you, yo, Voracious, that's a weird name anyway. Mad, salacious, and weird. But Voracious, you on a little line, because I know. I don't give a fuck. I don't think you listen. You made me not listen to the blog. So we can talk. What the fuck is, yo, did you? He don't know I'm on a booting spree. You see, you say, dog, you seem scared to talk. You got 18 viewers. Yo, do you, you su voracious? I suggest you see me in person because you know why? You know why? See me in person. I'm going to be in Harlem October 14th at Grill on the Hill. You can see me there. Wow. <laughs> That nigga's gone. <laughs> so I can get you views. <laughs> I just said, I go on Angry Fans Lives, you know what I'm saying? D the DNA too. Oh, 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 you and the rest of the goofies say, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, we we on a roll today. This this is therapeutic. I am booting. Oh, you know how many niggas gonna get boot? You know how many niggas gonna get boot? Oh, wait a minute. And who back? <laughs> Yo, oh, go on, Mauritius. You gone. Come to Cleveland. I been in Cleveland. I I will be in Cleveland soon. Pull up the Cleveland, voracious. I be in Cleveland. Why would you say come to Cleveland, Ohio? I got battles in Cleveland, Ohio in the past year. I battled Kev Bless in Cleveland, Ohio. I battled B Magic in Cleveland, Ohio. Listen, watch my B Magic battle. Cleveland, Ohio. Where, where, who else I battled Cleveland? Dado in Cleveland. What are you talking about? Come to Cleveland. See me when I get to Cleveland. I bet you don't Cleveland niggas gonna tell you the same thing about me. What what were they gonna say? Oh, he had it in the building with him. He's one of those. Are you fucking tripping? Who are you talking to, my nigga? You got to see me in person. And if you're not your pussy, so there you go. It's there. It's it's solidified. You pussy if you don't see me in life, my nigga. These niggas is tripping. You think you're gonna come into my motherfucking shit and tell me put the stream up? I let who I want up. On your mama, I do. On your mother. You getting me? This is my. Uh, 
You know how dumb it is my fault to see this comment, bro. These comments coming from dumb motherfuckers saying anything. Voracious, right? Um, the Atlanta 80, 80 something nigga. My nigga, all you niggas is booted. Do you get it? You're gone. Let me get y'all to understand this, right? I'm a real nigga who's really at events. Y'all watch me. If you don't, you don't. Maybe you don't watch me. But I'm a battler. Since 2009 on YouTube, I have battles. Since 2009. I'm, I've been across the whole... I haven't gone to the West Coast. I want to go there. I want to go to L.A. Can't cap. But I've been to the Midwest, the South, all of that, bro. What are you... You think I need you to come up here to talk to you? The, the hilarious, hilarious hypocrisy that I that think he could send his little but nigga. I don't care about these niggas. If they not seeing me in person, I don't give a fuck about these pussy niggas, man. You ain't gonna bring a nigga up when I'm showing you fact to talk about the facts. Right? The person just said. Um, Detroit DME wasn't wasn't um defending. Hold up, I got you right now. Detroit DME wasn't defending. I, I got you. I'll show you he was defending the nigga. What the fuck? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Let's play this clip for y'all. Let's play this clip. So y'all can see, man, this, this nigga here defend DME, defending that nigga. Now, we're going to air this nigga out. I promise you we're going to air this nigga out. I got you. They're going to know about DME. I promise you. 050 going to be mad as fuck. They're going to find out about DME. I promise you. They're going to find out. They're going to find out now. I didn't. Okay. I wasn't really even pointing about the He was like. I shoot at DME because he a bitch ass nigga, but like there's a that. But let me go, let me go and show y'all then, since y'all want to be like this. Oh shit, I can't, I can't enlarge this. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. That's the screen. Let me share this with y'all. Listen to what DME tried to do with me, right? This is DB. See, that's what they was doing, right? First off, if you know that, why is you looking for anyway? How you can't tell she fits it anyway? That's so crazy. I'm Go telling ahead. She she got a fake ID stripping in the club strip club at 15. To people, but you know, now look so, what he says. So I'm telling this story to people, but he didn't say. I'm telling the truth or nothing. He said, I'm telling this story to people. Listen to what he's saying. I'm telling this story to people, but you know the internet, they ain't even mature enough to. 050 starts talking. This is how, this is defense by trying to deflect at what's the subject at hand. China Brim is talking to, uh, um, uh, Battle Truth to figure out why are they putting these saying that Battle Truth is like that. He's dear me, try to defend, not handle that situation, then go to ever what he wanted on Chris. Chris, I'm biased too. So ain't nobody defending Chris. Fuck that bitch, nigga. I don't like talking about that, that bitch, nigga. Plain and simple. You never need to talk to the nigga. You won't find a point in the nigga. I don't fuck with Chris. I'm biased. I just don't fuck with my niggas too. Y'all niggas cornballs too, but let's play this. Then you support niggas. Y'all can see him try to try to defend why he got with a 15-year-old coming up with some lying story, like he said, and DME defended. Old, let's watch it. She had a fake ID stripping in a strip club. Because that's what they were doing. So I'm telling this story to people, but you know the internet. They ain't even mature enough to to understand these things. Bro, bro, bro. Me, you met her, Hold up. Bro. Did y'all see that? Listen, he tried to interrupt China Brim, who's getting down to the to the wire. This look what he tried to do. 
you met her in the strip club. But let me, but let me, listen, listen, but let me, but let me, that's just one part, but let me, but then why can interrupt fully to try to say that statement? Tell me, you met her in the strip club. She was 15 years old. Wait a minute, take his head just now. Do y'all see? Let's watch DMB. Let's watch DMB because he shook his head as if, why are we talking about this? When Battle Truth is accused for that, the entire culture don't like him. And look at you. Let's let's go back to to looking at how you react to that. Hold on, hold on. You met her in the strip club. She was 15 years shit, old. Man. But she had a fake ID. And she had a fake ID. ID. Right. China, right. this happens every time we talk about Chris. It ends up talking about a right. nah, So it's like all right. right. So so why would why would they do that? Because they're both fuck mother bitch ass niggas. They're, they're both fuck niggas. They're both motherfuckers who should be in this culture. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Oh, yo, Verocious, you about to just, I don't care who you are, Verocious. This is a new nigga gone. This nigga gone. Let me, me, me boot this nigga. My foot ready. Yeah. You're gone. And you're gone. And you're gone. All right. And you're gone. <laughs> I, want, I want all those accounts out of here. So we're going to keep this going. We might as well keep it going. That's a fact, Ben. Salute, Ben, yo. Ben, ben is holding it down, for real. You a freedom fighter right now. You a revolutionary freedom fighter. Man, it man. always... Fuck oh, that nigga. Wait, did you just kick him off? <laughs> did, you, did you just kick my my, my uh, Predator profile uh, uh, co-host off? Did you, did you do that? Did you do that? Kick him off. Oh, <laughs> give a fuck. Yeah. Fuck. That nigga. Get the... Uh, fuck uh -huh. up my platform. See, to make you realize why are you fucking with that nigga DME? Did it take China? Maybe because you don't have kids, right? Is it that? I think it's because you don't have kids. Oh, let, let's get this one out here, too. Ah, let's see this one. I don't think he understands. I don't think he understands. Booted another nigga. Booted another profile. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> It's like a cleanse. It's like, get out of here. Get out of here. I'm getting y'all out of here. I like that. I like that. This is good. This is such a good live. I didn't even expect to do the live this long. I was going to go make me some, uh, some some lunch or something. You know what I'm saying? It's getting to that point now. I was going to make me some lunch now. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I, like I said, brought the kids to school, man. I did. And I think it's, and I'm going to tell y'all something, man. And I ain't saying that you got to have kids to be a moral morally sound person right all i'm saying is i think people without those perspectives God damn, i think people without those perspectives they look at it all a certain way right they look at it all a certain way the thing i'm the thing i'm saying is i un we understand as parents right it's a different sense of oh wait 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 hold up you giving me good entertainment here nigga. oh let me show you something Oh, this nigga got whoever this voracious nigga is, is. I can't lie, his relentlessness is 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 is. He's there. He's there. That nigga is make. He has like four voracious accounts. <laughs> I don't even know what the word voracious means, but it sounds it sounds like some weird shit. Anyway, voracious. I don't. <laughs> anyway, bro, he mad voracious. Anyway, I don't even know what that means, but it sound like what he is though. I even go tap. <laughs> cap on that yo said this is a hilarious live i got the cleanse salute my nigga ben in the spot yo salute ben yo ben you've been a real one i gotta salute that ben been a real one son he been he been down with the movement and for real for real like he he knows who he talking sounds like a, a, a mentally sound brother bro because definitely these weirdos bro look niggas like dme bro this is the guy who don't talk good about nothing with the culture with black he don't be like the coach and yo, I'm that shit crazy. You got to stand on something. You know what I'm saying? You got to stand on, on being a real one, man. It's crazy, man. I, I Like I said, I'm not even too judgmental on 
people's lifestyles or nothing. You know what I mean? I ain't the richest motherfucker, obviously, but I ain't no broke nigga. Definitely. I mean, if you watch my blogs, I've been in different cars. I, lately, I, lately I, I stopped doing car blogs because it felt like it was my primitive me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, you got your setup there now, you know? You got the ring, your, your ring light, all this stuff, you know? You got your laptop set up. You got your, you know what I mean? I'm going to get, I'm going to attach, I didn't attach my, um, uh, my Canon. I got a Canon t so I just didn't attach and do all of that. You got to get the, what is this? Then, then you got to, and I was thinking of OBS and using different, I don't, sometimes I like the simple things in life. I'm like, don't do too much. Yeah, I'll get this set up fully developed on it, but we didn't even paint rooms in this new place yet. None of that. We didn't do so much yet. But we're so busy, I didn't get the chance to do stuff. But man, salute to everybody, man. This has been a great live. I'm waiting for another profile to come up in here, man. But we keep proving these niggas wrong, right? Try to defend battle truth. One of these profiles came in ate that thing, tried to say, no, he didn't. That's defending. That was trying to say, yo, man, nah, it's okay. He's not like Chris and Bias. Every time we talk about Chris and Bias, I talk about this. Guy. When it's like, bro. That shit go hand in hand. This weirdo shit go hand in hand. Yo, it looked like it looked like DME did not want all of the uh to uh China to kick him off. So I'm telling this story to people. I'm telling but you know the internet, they ain't even mature enough to understand. These all right, now mind you, I want to so say I'm this, telling but I this story to people. Right. But you know the internet, they ain't even mature enough. <laughs> Battle true because of his list or whatever you think that they, you know how you talk like that. He says mature <laughs> because he doesn't want to say mature. <laughs> the ch is a problem for that nigga. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be like mature. He's going to be like mature. <laughs> he can't. So he says mature because <laughs> he knows he can't get that up. The pronunciation is easier. Damn, that shit. That overbite is kicking his face in right there. So anyway, man, this is the same thing with the Sally, man. These are all weird niggas. You don't notice that there's the same nigga who said about his celly, uh, all types of crazy shit. Ah oh, man, look at this shit. Look at this. He bought his in. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> that's a fact. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. salute to you, man, for the facts, bro. You one of the real ones. Poor little guy even brought his internet wife. To defend his honor, nah, yeah, that's a fact. Ben, look at I'm gonna say, Ben, you get exclusivities, man. Yo, Ben, if you any event I'm at, I don't care where it's at in this country. If you pulling up, it's free. You coming in free. You one of my, I'm gonna be my cop. I ain't fucking battling. Like, that niggas ain't doing this. My man's pulling through. Ben is free at every. Yo, Ben, you free at any event I got. I don't care. I don't care. You free at any event. Pull up. <laughs> Yo. Yo, and what's crazy is he had that MAGA hat, too. He had a MAGA hat and then ended up at the gay bar where they had the MAGA to make America gay. Yo, that shit is crazy. Why is that like that, boy? Why is that like that? I don't know. This guy is a weirdo. He's been a weirdo all his life, yo. And then, like, look at this. The defending this shit. To, this is what makes uh, DME a so I'm telling this story to people, but you know the internet, they ain't even mature enough to understand these things happening so, and going so, on. So what you just telling me, 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 but let me telling me, mm, but let me <laughs> y'all see the but let me uh, he really tried to defend it. He did it. This then he tried, he was so that's a double defense. He came through with the screen, you know what I'm saying, or whatever he came trying to pick them off, block them. His defense was on crazy. He tried to block kind of twice. Defense one, China. China. Right. This happens every time we talk about Chris. It ends up talking about defense about too. Nah, so it's like, and then China oh, always fuck like, that shit. Fuck that, fuck that shit. You said fuck, fuck, fuck that shit. Come on. <laughs> did you just kick him off? Did you did just kick him off? So you didn't try to defend? That's crazy. Like this is what I'm talking about, y'all. 
support. Listen, go fight the New York. Share this, please, y'all. Share this out there. So share it on y'all. All y'all got so we can get this out there. This the type of content they need to see on a depth. You know what I'm saying? And salute to everybody that's been exposing the real, you know, the, the, the fake shit going on, man. Like I said, ever since a depth, this, this like was really disrespecting the dead. This was the beginning stages, right before you know it started with the Beasley Fun House and all of that. But then he started disrespecting the dead, and that's when 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 he was doing the Beasley Fun House shit. I said, damn, this shit like low key like like Mo is weird because why would you push this agenda, right? And then at first it started leaving niggas skeptical. What's going on, Beasley? And then you'd be like, nah, Beasley's a grown man with kids and shit, a wife. Like, what you doing here? Then when I thought about it, I'm like, oh, there's something deeper going on. Like, there's something going on. That nigga ate that might have invested some money in URL and felt something and then like or something like he wanted, he had some power. I heard, like I said, I heard that ate that. Yeah, this shit tripping, man. It, it, it DDoSing or something, man. The nigga DDoSed me, man. I, I remember that from the Rome DMV days. Niggas was talking that DDoS shit. I don't know none of that shit, B. I don't be doing none of that. <laughs> I don't understand none of it. Maybe that's what's happening. Because I don't know what's going on with my browser. Keep shutting down like that. But salute to everybody. My browser was like, fuck out of here. You're doing too much. I was trying to bring shit up. That's what it was. I was trying to. At the same time, I was talking, I was trying to bring shit up here and there. But salute to everybody that's that that you know came through in the building, man. Like, yo, y'all could pull up. I'm gonna do definitely a regular live later. I'm gonna do a regular live. I'm not gonna go in on them later. You know what I'm saying? There's really nothing to say that that I've been killed them. But like I said, it's also when I catch you, it's due time, bro. You going, you know what I'm saying? And you say you was gonna fuck me, you say you're gonna fuck me up, pause. You're gonna beat my ass, all that, right? You gonna Punch me, you know, do all this, man. So, like, when I see you, man, if you attack me, I got to beat you up. And so when I beat you up, I hope somebody catch it on camera. And I hope we go viral. I hope all of this happens. You know what I'm saying? You never know. So, like, you know, one day, man, because, you know, you can't, like I said, 
it's weird. The world has the weird karma that comes back. What y'all think his karma gonna be? It's gonna be crazy, man. Because, like I said, with the girl who hit with the brick, that was karma. That was karma. She literally said, and this is the type of people that be in the world. Like, because he said, I don't flag people. And I showed y'all he flagged me. That's crazy. Like, it's crazy. He said, I don't flag people. I even played the video where he says it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, I could play it back if y'all want to hear it. He said he doesn't flag people. He says, and mind you, he crying about, oh, my. So this is what it is. They could do this. They could do that, he said, right? They could they could flag my channel. They could da da da, but I can't. I don't do that to them. That's what he said. That's what he said. It's right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You you don't what? He doesn't what? He doesn't flag, y'all. Come on, Adep said he doesn't flag. Y'all should do y'all believe him? Because I mean, if if I prove it wrong, wouldn't that be like, yeah, you know, if I completely prove it wrong, what do y'all say from there? Because right now, hold up, let's let's put this picture up. Let's pull this picture up because this is a, a screenshot of when I got flagged by UA Dev. So how you how you flag nobody? That's kind of trippy. That doesn't make, make sense because this this here looks like a flag, sir. This says it's a copyright strike and it's a flag. That's what you did. <laughs> yeah. So Word, talk your shit radio, you know. Salute, talk your shit radio. Yeah, I'm battling. Um, if it's October, uh, that's uh, Bosevich for it's gonna be fire, man. I respect Bosevich, so we're gonna have a good war. I'll say that, you know what I mean. Um, Bosevich is different than a lot of opponents. Certain niggas, you gotta know, like the pen level that real um, battle rappers like or experience really look for the pen level, right? Because everything else matters, but like his pen levels up there. And I respect that. I have to write to a certain level, so I, um, that's gonna be a great match, bro. Um, but salute to everybody that popped out. We're gonna later do regular battle rap talk. I'm gonna be covering events specifically. Uh, we go hard events. Um, bar you to death, kill switch battle league. Everybody that. I start seeing even Gates of the Guard, everybody. I think that a lot of battle rapper uh bloggers and people aren't paying attention to all the leagues. So I'm going to definitely be tapping into all the smaller leagues. We all definitely cover the big leagues, but I think it's definitely good to get this talent to shine they deserve. And of course, through when I talk, you know, angry fan, I'll be on the angry fans and I be on the quads and Harlem Legends and everybody, and I talk to everybody. I want to bring that forth where there's a little more coverage that's why if you notice um sometimes when i go on those platforms i do bring up other smaller leagues that are doing cards and it's an and they do too they do too I, I in respects i see that they pay attention but it's mainly the big leagues that get the um the, the, the source and we're going to talk about everything man so we're definitely going to talk about uh easy
Yo, 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 yeah, this is back, y'all. But I'm gonna I'm gonna end this. My fault, guys. This is um this live is I noticed that I think it's StreamYard. I really just think it's StreamYard. Every time I use StreamYard, it does this though. I'm not gonna say it just hit. Even when I went to um Angry Fans Joint, when I use um Melon, I never go through this problem. Now it's it could be something uh with my computer, I don't even know, but I really noticed this. It's is really with StreamYard. I don't know if StreamYard's too popular and it's being overused or even if anything, but this is always StreamYard. But salute to everybody. I will be using next time I'll be using Melon or something like that. That way, because when I use that, I noticed that if you notice the one with the fire overlays, it really isn't like this for some reason. Those those streams always go smooth. It never crashes out my browser. I'm th so you know, I'm thinking it's StreamYard, but salute to everybody that popped out. You know what I'm saying? Um, share this, like I said, man. This was dope live in the beginning before it was crashing out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Salute Ben. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, peace. You know what I'm saying? Salute, brother. Definitely. Um, and talk your shit radio salute. Everybody who came in, salute to the real ones, man. You know what I'm saying? This is just a, a like I said, this is a war between me and them on, on the talk level, like you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, it's been going back and forth. But one day them niggas might see me, like I said, man. And it is what it is. I don't want to go crazy, but it is what it is. Like them niggas threaten me, man, online, mad times. Nigga falsely did calls on my crib, all sorts of shit, bro. So like, I made the nigga crash out because I said all facts, man. You know, but salute to everybody that popped out. You know what I mean? It's the smoking and why, man. <laughs> nigga said lay off the alcohol. Nah, I smoke more than anything. I really don't drink as much. Actually, if you see on camera, I drink but um, only like probably a few times, and it's usually the weekends usually the weekends you might see me sipping on a friday saturday night and i really drink i mainly drink wine or you know what i'm saying I, at my age i don't really drink beer and things like that unless we had a you know we watching football or something i ain't really you know what i'm saying i don't really drink too much i'm not a drinker i'm a smoker more than anything but salute salute to you though I'm, yeah i'm a smoker everybody tell you nah that nigga that nigga with the smoke he with the like let's get some weed the minute i touch down i want to get some weed you know what i'm saying uh yeah cigarettes i gotta quit them shits is horrible anyway. but salute to everybody stepped in the building man salute to everybody man shouts out to y'all man yeah stay safe you know what i'm saying protect them kids man because you know, weirdos on this online who don't have kids you know adep dme all these niggas don't have kids battle truth doesn't even have possession of his kids no more right we, we found that out he admitted it so it's like these are people you know battle truth got kids but he seemed like an irresponsible parent anyway but you know what I mean? Salute to y'all, man. Anyway, like I said, we're not here to judge for each other as parents anyway. Bro. That's just that's just bad. As long as you're doing the best you can for your kids, I really don't see what's wrong. You know what I'm saying? If you can't provide what you can't, like I've seen people in these streets, bro. I've seen people who can't provide who don't spend time with their kids as much, right? So I think there's a lot with being a parent, but with guys like this in this culture, bro, y'all watch it, man, because these are the type of people you know y'all wouldn't leave y'all kids around. So... <laughs> Just real nigga shit. Salute to everybody that came in the building. Like I said, shouts out to y'all. I'm about to go have me some lunch. Relax. Watch some content, man. Chill. Write some bars. You know what I'm saying? And just chill out, man. Salute to all y'all, though. I'm going to definitely do a live later. It's going to be unique. I got some unique questions and things that I'm going to be doing. And it's different. Different. And it's going to be pushing the culture forward. It's only things like that. I have a dialogue that's going to be very fun to have with some intellectual people on there. So... If y'all want pop out, y'all ideas and sentiments might be valuable. So salute to everybody, which it is, but, but salute, yo. Salute to everybody. One. You know what I'm saying? Hold up. What's, what's this? Yeah, to the clip, man. To the clip. Let's play the clip. Let's play the clip, Smoke. Fire. Trap, recoil ain't in the knife stroke is a drawback. So knuckle up or just bitch out and go fall back. Me, we could all scrap. Load to a fall clap. Swing to a draw crap. Shells on the floor mat. Old school teen in the gale. I'm with all that. What's really scary about a killer is if he's intelligent. No country for old men. That's why I make them look irrelevant. If I body you, I'll melt the gun down, destroy the evidence. Then mold the metal to a chain and where your body is attached. Oh, if I'm robbing you, you won't see a face that have a glance. Yo, yeah, I'm not fucking I'm keep doing my thing and this is like the gun, I should keep it with the phone and keep it ringing. This a big death. I got faith on my hook. They'll be missing. Being gangster. Ain't the foul. Niggas get get it. Bro. Bro. You never seen something like this.
It's an old school machete. I get to hacking like a computer. Ah! Recoil ain't in the knife stroke is a drawback. So knuckle up or just bitch out and go fall back. Me, we could all scrap. Load to a fall clap. Swing to a draw crap. Shells on the floor mat. Old school teen in the gal. I'm with all that. What's really scary about a killer is if he's intelligent. No country for old men. That's why I make them look irrelevant. If I body you, I'll melt the gun down, destroy the evidence. And mold the metal to a chain and where your body is attached. Oh. If I'm robbing you, you won't see a face or have a glance. Yo, we don't. I. Sleep. Yo, niggas I'm sorry. keep doing my thing. And, but like the gun, I should keep it with the phone and keep it ringing. Ah! This a big death. I got faith on my hook. They'll be missing. Being gangster ain't the vibe. Niggas get get it. Bro. It's an old school machete. I get to hack it like a computer. Ah! She look at you, Kaka. Run the ball and bust it on her like a drive-by. So it is John Doe, because there ain't a bad boy in the head of Sean Combs.